<laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> right, going. Welcome to another Saturday night one shot of uh, us doing a full on play of. God, that's weird. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> the demon. Tend the tale of Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Uh, no, but uh, tonight we're doing a one-shot run by the fabulous floating head that is me with hands on occasion. Oh, oh, oh. I mirrored it so everything looks right. Uh, but with us tonight, <laughs> we are going to be playing characters. Uh, let's start with Carol. Carol, please introduce yourself and introduce your character to <clears> this <throat> wonderful, wonderful one-shot that is going to end at two hours perfectly. Sure it is. We're all 16th level, so this is going to go long. Or fast. Hi, I'm, I'm Carol, and I'm playing Luna, my <clears throat> gnome goth grave cleric, because life sucks and everything. The bigger picture is beyond here. And that's it for me, I think. <laughs> next. On, let's see. Who's next, Kyle? David, you can go. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, I'm David, and I'll be playing Ursus, uh, Beast Hide Shifter. So I am going to be the wandering bear tonight. Yep. Looking for the bear necessities. Yeah. That's it. Now, for one of the oldest uh, members, other than Carol, uh, Caitlin, why don't you introduce yourself? Am I really considered old now? I would hope not. You're wearing horns on your head. Something. I am playing Riley Roxy ha, tonight. She is a, of course, a tiefling, and I'll be a paladin. And I'm not. That what kind of oath did you take, paladin? Oath? I don't. What is it? I don't know. Whatever the one that gave me the select on D and D Beyond. We're ready to go, folks. <laughs> All right, and finally, I had to beg him to be on here because no one else wanted to play. Brian, I'm to introduce yourself. I'm Brian. Uh, I am playing Dimlo Graveltooth, uh, a plate mail wearing, battle axe carrying, evocation wizard uh, dwarf. So, you know, if hitting them in the face doesn't work, I will blow them up with fire. Kill it with fire. Yeah. Right. <coughs> Whoops. Uh oh. What? You okay there? I may have misplaced the entire adventure I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to Murder Hobo, please. That's right. Okay. All right. Nope. Maybe just a little bit. All right. Hey, guys, it's Murder Hobo. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. You can watch our YouTube videos. Or if you'd like to go to the uh, store, which is somewhere listed down somewhere, uh, you can do that. I'm not very good at this part. So it's right let's, below let's you. start the adventure. Uh, as always, reading off the top here, having enjoyed their downtime after defeating the Frost Giant incursion to the Southern Kingdoms, the party, you four? Yeah. There's a call from their earliest patron and fan, sweet Nana Keebler, a, a little ancient old gnome baker, uh, who is moving her bakery to a new town with less excitement. Unfortunately, upon arrival, Nana seems to have gotten herself in one last situation. So you guys are walking through town, and as you turn the corner, you have noticed some smoke in the air because all of your passive perceptions are insanely high. It's like you knew I was the like one. Like we're level 16 or something. Yeah, I can't imagine. Like I, I can't either. You notice the smoke rising up in the air near her place and turning the uh, corner cautiously you find the place is swarming with guards the windows are broken it looks like some fire has gone out and the captain of the guards is escorting or is speaking with nana keebler and is putting manacles on her and is taking her away at this point though nana keebler sees you uh and uh using her sweet charms on the guard captain approaches Dimlo and say, oh, Dimlo, I'm sorry, there's been such a thing and fussle going on here. 
And um, don't worry, I'm, I'm taking care of it. And oh my gosh, not so. Guard captain immediately grabs her and says, "All right, it's it's time to go." And she breaks free. Is gives this you a the bakery that's up. on fire. Huh? Is this the bakery that's on fire? The bakery was on fire. It looks like it's been put out at this point. Wait, 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 wait. But she goes to. Are get there still plants. cookies? I knew you were coming today. There's about five hundred. If they haven't burnt a little bit, I head into the building. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She goes over to Luna, small yeah. tiny gnome Luna, gives you a hug. And as she's being dragged away in chains, why are you being with your passive away? perception. Why is she being dragged away in chains? Do we nobody asked, right? Nobody asked yet. I'm gonna I mean, ask. That, that, Carol, I'm talking over you. This is why I chose you. With your passive perception. You notice that she slips something into your pocket secretly and then willingly goes away with the guard captains. But, but, oh, okay. don't worry, dearie, just, just watch over things for me. We will do that. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And she leaves, and you are now in an emptying, emptying square where the people, all the hubbub is gone. Yeah, you hear Nana Keebler just got taken away. Yeah, I know. With a passive investigation of 24, how many cookies do I find? <laughs> uh, you find two guards who are not letting you through. Oh. You can see on the shelf there, there are quite a few cookies though, but some of them have burned and have been crumbled. Looking through the window on your tiptoes, yeah, some of them have been stepped on too. Mm. Those bastards. Stepped on so... cookies? Guards, hey, hey, stay back, sir. You're not allowed to uh, interfere with this investigation. I just, you see those cookies? No. Yeah. And you see the other guard is <laughs> wiping his beard. <laughs> Do you smell those cookies? No, you don't. <laughs> I don't? Or nobody does. You don't have the passive perception to smell cookies. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Tiefling don't know what cookies are. I stomp back out into the street, and I'm like, this will not stand. We have to find out what happened. to the They won't let me have any of the cookies. Now the bakery's on fire, and the baker's gone to jail. Oh, my God. A bakery on fire would be like heaven sent all around. To the rest of you. All right. <laughs> the baker's on fire, and the baker's now in jail, and the guards are eating the cookies. What's left of them? Sure. Well, we got to find out what happened to Mama Keebler. Sure. Uh, Nana. <laughs> this is not Nana. Nana. Nana, Nana I'm Keebler. Gonna, I'm going to take the note out, and I'm going to read it. Sure. Uh, roll me a d20. Roll you a d20? Yeah, roll the d20. Oh, God, that's a good start. Three. Three? Oh, cool. Doesn't matter. I just wanted odd or even. <laughs> are you reading out loud or are you reading to yourself? Uh, I want to bring everybody in and I'll read out loud. Okay. You read 150 grams of starter, 250 grams of warm water, 25 grams of olive oil, 500 grams of bread flour, 1,000 grams of salt, Finely ground. Is there writing on the back of the note? Yeah. There is. On the back. <laughs> I'm just going to reach up and take it out of her hand and read the back side of it. Oh, I mean, I'm like, hey, this is a recipe. Yeah, sure. Anyone uh, have any? I would pull it and read the back tools? side of it. Or brewing's tools, I suppose. I, I have brewer's tools. Okay. Is it there? No. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20 and add that on there. Wisdom or intelligence, your choice. Me or the cookie? Just as you listen to this and you notice the writing on the backside. <laughs> All my D20s go. Uh, you said plus wisdom or intelligence, whichever one you want to go with. And your brewing higher skills. Yeah, so it's uh twelve. Twelve. Wow. Oh wait, plus proficiency, right? Because I'm proficient. Yeah. Oh, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Now. Brewing, yeast, baking, and all that, and you listen to this, this is obviously, you know, uh, Nana Keebler's 
famous sourdough bread. And that's a lot of salt she puts in the recipe. But I mean, you don't really bake bread, so. Don't, I don't. That might be the right amount. That might not be. I mean, that's a lot of bread flour too. But, <laughs> mm. but as you turn over the note, uh, on the back side, a Nana Keebler is written in her handwriting to please feed my starter while this gets sorted out uh, and tells you know what to feed the starter. Mix this jar and that jar and that jar. And uh, please bring me my book while I'm in jail. You'll find it in the hidden safe with uh, 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 this symbol on, on top of it. A floating head in the middle. A floating of it. head in the middle of. With a floating head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I tried to go in there. They wouldn't let me go in. So. It's a safe. I mean, no. No, no combination. No key. It's just hidden. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, mm -hmm. a, it's just a hidden safe. Yeah. I don't know. But maybe, I don't know. So we need to try to get in there. Um, and um, Demlo, as you look at the paper and you see the symbol, do me a favor. Make yeah. a wisdom saving through. Who, oh, all of us? Great. The only the person who looked at it. If you decide you want to look at it too, that's your prerogative. It is a horrible thing. So, uh, I'm going to make a roll to see if I did. 13. Okay. Mm. Nah. Something about this symbol shakes you to your core. Like, and it scares you me. You find yourself with one level of dread. And if you give me half a second, I will go into further details for you. Yeah. You are disturbed, and you immediately drop the piece of paper, and you can't Whoa. seem to Whoa. bring yourself to come near this symbol again. This is, there's something wrong with this. That's evil. evil. Oh, all right, and we're evil gonna... sourdough bread recipe. We don't use the E word in this group. <laughs> right, um, yeah, lawful evil, evil, chaotic evil, Caitlin. I'm not even going to say your character's name. It's you, Caitlin. That's <laughs> um, I pick up the paper. Sure. Yeah, but you know, we're going to have to look at the symbol. Do you look at the symbol? Oh, Lord. Um, I guess I can. What kind of a save is it? Wisdom? Wisdom saving throw. I'll do it because I'm going to have to go. Oh, the sa it's on the safe too, right? So might as well get it over with says it's hidden, or the symbol is in front of the hidden safe, yes. Oh, okay. Well, so we'll have to see it. All right, so that's a 21. Yeah, you look at it. There's something wrong with it, but not to the point where you want to throw like it away. Or not do it. It. <laughs> in fact, you show it over to Dimlo again, and like, what's wrong? And as you hold it closer, he just kind of backs up without even really paying attention to it. I mean, did I feel like this was a that that yeah you said i felt like there's something wrong with it though right do we have any idea what the symbol is of is it religion or something based if you would like to roll a religion you may i would oh my gosh D, &D beyond like it's so weird everything is for some reason like all the margins are in different are in the wrong locations so it's a little hard to read religion uh 19 19 no. Yeah, no idea. No idea. No idea what this is. Uh, I have no clue what this is, but uh, the guards are still standing at the doorway or do they leave shortly? Still One actually went inside, grabbed another handful of cookies, walked out. Hey. Over, starts eating it. The other ones, so is any, so wait, is there still one at the door? Mm hmm. I'll walk up to the door. I let's see. My hey, hey, this is a murder investigation, ma'am. You need to stay back. She asked me murder. to get her books just to bring it to her in jail. Absolutely not. That's what the guards are for. I what? can't let you through, ma'am. I have orders. 
You have orders? I have orders too. And you know what? I'm going to show them the paper with the symbol on it. I was going to say that. <laughs> Looks at it. That's a lot of salt for a piece of bread, lady. I show them the flip side that says <laughs> book with the symbol on it. Ma'am, this is an official paperwork. You need official paperwork. Obviously, you're not doing this right. Doesn't like friggin' look at the symbol and have to make a save. No, he's not really looking at it. He's just looking at the top. Doesn't say by order of King. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> blah, 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 blah. He's a good king. Let's he's see. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Do I have anything in my zillion spells here? Probably not. Sure. Yeah. And you see the other <laughs> guard come out. He takes a look at you, notices the tiefling, drops the cookies. Are you the, are you Riley? Hey, the butcher uh, of Riley, who? Where did all those innocent people? What? <laughs> Why would someone with pink hair murder people? It's not what pink haired people do. <laughs> so Kyle, while this is happening, I, I have a ferret familiar and I'm going to have him just go in the house and take a look around. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, go ahead, roll a uh, stealth check for your ferret. You know, you want to tell me what kind of stealth a ferret has? Because I don't have any. <sighs> I guess I can look him up on D&D Beyond, right? On yeah. Well, yeah. We're still learning how to use this. Hey, I've got, yeah. I think it's actually a weasel on in the. Yeah, it's a weasel. Hey, GM. What'd you roll on the die? Just 17. 17? Your, we your weasel. Your ferret the gets weasel. That. Uh Luna, yes. I was going to say, I'm kind of distracting him. Can you get it at advantage? I don't think it done it, it for like... It doesn't matter at this point. Honestly, the guards are paying attention to the butcher of Shire Town. Is that what she was accused of? I'll ask him what she was accused of. I see bread inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleased. A lot of bread. Uh, no, the ferret walks in, and as you would normally see in a bakery, there is baskets, bread, uh, there is the counter. Um, you see the enormous snout. Yeah, uh, there's a head of bread. Of or, a, well, your ferret does. Enormous snout of a dragon's head? A dragon's head. But, you know, this is Nana Keebler's. Uh, special oven to draw in the customers. It's an oven shaped like a gigantic dragon's head. It'd probably take 20 by 30 feet. It's wow. Huge. Wow, this is just the coolest. Mm -hmm. He sneaks around. Does he find us that symbol anywhere? Uh, sneaks around in the front of the store? No, but there's a bunch of stuff knocked around. There's a bit of blood stains. Um, and then, of course, there is a doorway to the back room. Uh, Luna, the guards, uh, once you get them to talk to you, it's like, Nana Keebler is being charged with murder. Why? She wouldn't kill anyone. And she makes the so too, But did you, you should see what she did to the people who tried to rob her store. <laughs> that's not murder. That's self-defense. They not sound what she like did to these people. It. Does the there? ferret see cookies? There are tons of cookie crumbs on the floor in the front room there. Oh. Does he see whole cookies? If he climbs up, he'll see the stack. That He's the going to attempt to liberate a few cookies. <laughs> <laughs> how many cookies? <laughs> I don't know how many cookies can a ferret carry? Well, one. One? He and not be, you know, at disadvantage. Maybe. One. One. Okay. Go ahead. Roll sleight of hand. The die is what matters more. <laughs> 16. Uh, no, plus three. 19. 19, yeah. He makes it out of the store. Uh, the guards are explaining to Luna, you know, about the murder. Uh, and I... Uh, he just runs up my leg onto my shoulder and I take a cookie and start eating it. <laughs> they said... They asked Here, me with him. to see what they did. I'm like, you know what? I kind of do want to see what they did. Can you show me? I'm in. I told, no, no one is allowed here until the priests get here to speak with the dead. Well, I am a priest. 
Wait, do I have to speak with Dad? I think I was thinking. I about... hope you would. <laughs> You're a great player. <laughs> oh, not necessarily. I take I take other. There's a lot of useful priest priest spells, so um, I don't think I did take that one. So how many guards but are in the what? building now? Oh, lying's not really my thing, but I could try. Yeah, go for it. Um, I was like, well, I'm a priest. Like, I'm a priest. Of, I'm a grave priest. Of, I pick, I don't know what it is in this world. Carol doesn't know what's in this world, but she would. You just pick a priest name. I don't care about the gods. Oh, uh, Judon, I guess. I'm, the pre I'm a priest of Judon, which is the god of death, right, in your little world. And um, which is true. Sure. Sure. That's, that's probably earning favor with the guards. I would, I would probably be of help to you. You know, I'm a, I'm a grave priest. Sure. That's my thing. I don't know what you want me to make it. Do you want me to make, um, it doesn't really, I don't think persuasion, it really matters. Being honest, yes. Persuasion or deception? You're being honest. You are a cleric. Okay. So 19? 19. 19. <coughs> guard looks at your holy symbol. Looks at the other guard, looks at the tiefling, starts eyeballing the rest of the party. I wink when he looks at me. <laughs> yeah, they were. You smell a whiff of shit in the air. That wasn't me. <laughs> As one of the guards, oh, sorry. Of them run down his leg. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, these, these are the heroes. Yeah. Are you Luna Hades, perchance? I am Luna Hades. And Ursus these are the fighter. Mm, What's that? Hi. Yeah. And Dim Graveltooth? Dim Love. Yep. Dim's fine. Um uh, yeah, I suppose you can just go right in. Oh, well thank you. You're level you. 16, people. You're heroes of the realm. Yeah. I recognize you. It's That's good because my next plan was to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have an animal trap. I was going to suggest we could put the ferret in that and act like it got loose or something. There's only two guards. I was just going to say we kill them and go get the stuff and be long gone before the priests get here. But this works True. better. All right. That, that's good. Hey, reputation is everything. So. Yeah, exactly. Sure. All you right. Say so so uh, yeah, the guards step aside. They step extra far from uh, mm -hmm. uh, Riley, the paladin, and... I'm going to need to change here soon. Do you mind watching? Call <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, they call Carl over, who is speaking to another neighbor over there. They come over, and John leaves to go change his trousers, apparently. Hi, John. <laughs> and you guys are now inside the bakery. Um, yeah. It's a hot mess. There is a lot of thing. The stone oven is cracked a little bit. Um, Ooh, that's sad. There's a little bit of blood. Not too much. Honestly, it seems to be coming from the back of the bakery. Hmm. The blood? Yes. Wow. I follow the blood. Went. Yeah, we follow the blood trail. Sure. As you, do, you sweep past the beads that Nana Keebler will often greet her uh, uh, guest room. Be and the curtain is a hot mess. What do we see? So, um, do I see anything? He's like, he's trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Game over, guys. Game over. Yeah, that's it. And we won this adventure. What are you guys? Is seventeen. Good job, guys. You did it. I'm proud. Of it. <laughs> it was on the bread job. recipe. You drank twenty six minutes. Let's that's see if you run a campaign that fast. Uh, wait, question, question, question. Which one's yeah. the wizard? Huh? Which one, which one of us is a wizard? That'd be me. Do you have, I'll look at y'all like, do you have mending? No. No? Shucks. I'm not that kind of wizard. I want to mend her that really cool oven right over there. Yeah, no. That so, would be great. Um, you see the back but again, head of this. Not that kind of wizard. <laughs> Fair enough. Walk through the curtain. You see the back head of this uh, enormous, again, dragon head oven. Uh, it is back head, broken. like it's, it's it goes through the wall. You essentially yes. The snout is the front part, and as you get to the back head, you see the rest of this enormous oven. Uh, it's cracked, chipped in places. Um, 
God damn it, Dimlo, for your passive perception. <laughs> You're welcome, you. Kyle. Uh, in the cracks of the stonework, you actually see glitters of gold. Um, but the rest of the room is really what's terrifying. There's several empty tables covered in flour, uh, blood, guts, um, just as if someone had... <laughs> yep. And exploded. Uh, I, uh, and then there is also uh, one mostly whole body of an individual. Um, okay. Along the I want to look at the the cracks with the gold in them first. Sure. Are, are you talking like coins or like there's gold scrapings along the edges or what are we talking about? The stone oven has cracked. Maybe a little piece of fallen away. But behind the stonework you see uh, gold. It's like a stone facade cracking off a gold oven. Sure. That's the impression I get. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just I make that middle note and I uh, I turn to everyone. I'm like, that's pretty impressive. She old lady blew somebody up in here. I mean, how many bodies? We don't see that every day. That's that's oh. right. Medicine check. Wait to know how many? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're yeah. not in body shape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a medicine. Mm -hmm. Uh, seventeen. 17. So bad. Thank you. Yeah, how many people did we? And all right, fine. And obviously, and at least one because there is a corpse in two, right. top and bottom half. Uh, and what race? from the gore around the room, one or uh, two or more 20. on top of that. <laughs> but as you look at this, please make me a wisdom save. All of us? All of you, yeah. I'm Why not? <laughs> uh, 22. I'm so glad I'm Natural playing. 20 for a 27. Okay. Good. Nice. Uh, <laughs> 18. Good. I am so glad. Who are you, who, uh, so you got mine, right? Waiting for Riley, yes. Okay. Yeah. 29? Okay. Safe. Cool. Nope. You are all good. This is... By far, you've sure, adventured yeah. you've slain giants, you've killed a hag. Riley, you've murdered tons of innocent people in a tiny shower shire town. Uh shower town. Bloodthirsty like that. Shower town. Yeah. My sister? Not me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a I, dwarf. I know about uh, metals and rocks uh, and things. Sure. Why would I think that an oven that gets really, really hot and gold that is a soft, you know, very malleable metal would be combined together? Like, roll. Well, yeah. Stone check. Stone. I'll let you add that intelligence. Yeah, history, stone check, cunning. Uh, that's uh, 24. Uh, that is the most idiotic thing you have ever heard of. Yeah, it's stupid, right? Uh, that, that's stupid. Um, I'd say with your passive perception, though, and your stone cunning as a dwarf, that doesn't look like normal gold behind it, though. Mm. If you took the time to peel it away, you could probably find something more and maybe be able to grab some more information. Mm. The rest of you, there are other tapestries in the room. Mm -hmm. Um, before I have a brain fart, <laughs> check that board. Kyle. Check the board. That's right. The one that's hidden behind all the loaves of bread. <laughs> okay. Um, yep. You just see, um, the starter that Nana Keebler was going to have you feed. <laughs> and actually, there's a shattered jar where it was on the floor. And it's a pile, it's probably gone from this world. That's the starter. That's the starter. Uh, Luna, you actually made a, um, a heal check earlier. Your medicine check, yeah. Medicine check, yeah. Yeah, like 17, I think. 17, okay. Um, your seasoned adventures. Um, looking at the body that's more intact, mm -hmm. this was a were rat. Oh, oh, I definitely. Why would you arrest somebody for killing a were rat? No, <laughs> you should. Those are the best. I mean, it's in human form at the moment, but there's these little telltale signs. 
The nails are a little bit longer, uh, a little bit of extra hair growing behind the ears, um, oh. teeth a little bit sharper in the front. I walk um, to the mirror and start questioning myself. <laughs> I pull out my plus one battle axe and I try to hammer away some of this stone that's on this gold and see if I can get a chunk to break off. Being a shifter, I'm going to check the were rat. I'm going to look for any uh, tribal kind of uh, uh, you know, symbols or anything like that on him. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and make a medicine check for me. What am I doing, Kyle? Uh, strength check. Uh, straight up 14. Straight up 14. Mm -hmm. um, no, nothing really. Um, other than being dissected in half, he does have uh, a broken uh, ring finger. Mm -hmm. Nothing else more than that. Okay. The uh, other guy is just in too many pieces. What's that? Okay. 11. 11. It's going to take you quite a while to uh, to crack through this. But you can eventually if you want to go ahead and let the other people start looking for what they're supposed to be looking for. Now, was there a ring on the broken ring finger or just or the ring finger was just broken? Uh, mean, nothing on it. Investigation. Okay. Uh, investigations uh, 15. 15. Yeah, you see little indentations of where a ring might have been, a signet ring. Mm. Okay. Mm. But mm. no uh, no sight of a ring anywhere, though, right? No sight of a ring. Okay. Maybe once he was dead, maybe Some... there were someone who just ripped the ring right off and broke his finger afterwards. Probably. <laughs> you know, maybe the guards? I don't know. Probably not, though. Maybe the guards. I mean, hmm. they they seemed like shitty guards. Yeah, they did. So somebody probably got in. Oh. I took his ring while they were eating her cookies. Where's that safe? Uh, I'm going to start checking behind the tapestries. Sure. Let's I hand the pallet in a cookie. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay, looking. along the walls. Uh, so as you go through and you start looking at the tapestries, first tapestry you see um, is the scene of a setting sun, um, a king dressed in golden robes, holding a staff and scepter, is uh, greeting his noblemen, his bards, he's being surrounded by people, uh, uh, giving him loving pleas and praise. Uh, the next one, if you remember Fantasia uh, with Chernabog, mm -hmm. the mountain that came alive, yeah. the demon yeah. on top. Yeah. yeah. There is that scene where Chernabog is rising up off the mountain with uh, four adventurers. Um, looks like <laughs> a Goliath fighter, an elf wizard, a gnomish caster of some sort, uh, so on and so forth. The next one after that is a, a scene from a fey hunt. Um, the deer in the picture have this look of abject horror. And you can even see in the image where one of the hooves is actually a hand, like the creature, or like the person was transformed into a stag mm. and being hunted. Uh, and then the fourth one. Uh, is a massive gold dragon, again, similar to the Chernabog one, mm -hmm. um, with gold and jewels everywhere, standing before uh, what looks to be the same party from the Chernabog scene. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to try to pull the tapestry back and look behind it. That one, the one with the dragon and the dragon yeah. horde. Okay, do I... See anything? You look behind it and you don't see anything. Okay. Uh, but as you grab onto the tapestry, you realize this is some nice silk thread. How the hell does Nana Keebler afford Vortex. something this nice? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe she was baking more than cookies. <laughs> <Bah>. <laughs> 
Okay. So. Luna, we haven't talked to you in a mm. second. Do you have anything you'd like to be trying to do? Yeah, I want to be, I'm looking around the room trying to find that symbol. Sure. Because the safe is behind the symbol. So investigation or perception? Boy, is that going to be a big difference? Which one? I'm actually, I guess I'm, I don't know, which one? Make an insight check. Oh, insight. Well, that's a good check too. Sure. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that's an 11 because I rolled a nat one. Man, those cookies are probably pretty good. And if we don't <laughs> get one here pretty soon, Dimlo actively trying to chisel this oven uh, and Riley are probably going to finish them before you do. Um, uh, this seems to be looking through the tapestries uh, and behind them so far. Only search the one, so. I, I steal a cookie, by the way. Sure. If I really want a cookie, and then I'm going to, I said, I'll keep trying anyway, because I know it's behind that symbol. Sure. Ursus? Symbol yes. Of, wait, did you tapestry? Re uh, remind me of the thing, by the way. Did she say it was in this room? Or was it in a different, did she mention what room it was in? Say. On the notes? Say this is. Yeah. Uh, uh, a two two room bakery. Okay. She lives elsewhere, and then comes to work here because. Do we go to her house? No, maybe. <laughs> like Do we know where she lives? Bad. Like, is that information <laughs> privy to? Uh, uh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna check behind Chernabog's uh, tapestry, and then the golden. King's tapper, tapestry. Sure. Let's see what's behind those. Okay. Uh, Dimlo, you do know where um, Nana Keebler lives. Uh, and I would say after he checks Chernabog's where you found nothing, Ursus, um, mm -hmm. you peel away enough stone. This is golden scales. Like dragon scales. Like dragon scales. Holy. Um, well, you that's different and she definitely is selling more than cookies. But the cookies are pretty damn good. Is it actually like a dead dragon under there? Would you like to make a medicine check and find out? <laughs> yes! I don't know about dead. <laughs> oh, God. I hope it's and dead. Demo, why don't you make a history check? Oh, that's really good. That's a 21. That's a dragon's head. Yeah. Oh, um, 24. 24. Um, there's rumors that Nana Keebler used to be a venture before, and there's some a lot of rumors and tall tales. Um, she did some stuff. She did some shit. <laughs> As you look at this dragon's head, and you look at the tapestry on the back wall, mm -hmm. and look at this dragon's head, and look at the tapestry on the wall. Uh, the name of Ayun Van Ken, a ancient, ancient, greater ancient gold dragon that used to, at one point, turned away from the good ways and started tormenting people. Um, disappeared in Nana Keebler's lifetime. Oh, hmm. God. Well, at least it sounded like he deserved it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, there was a gnome. Other than, you know, changing from good to evil, uh, Ayun Van Ken was also known as the Maw of Fire, uh, said to have a fire breath that actually touched the plane of fire and had the deadliest breath of any dragon ever known. Hmm. Their fire still burning in the oven? No. Out. But if you put your hand in there, you feel heat. I wasn't gonna put it in. I was gonna put it on the golden scales that I that I exposed. Oh, uh, okay. Um, See if it feels like there's heat or movement. There's no movement, but there is heat. Yes. Mm. But you know, from walking in and your insane passive perception and investigation. <laughs> no, the fires weren't lit when you came in. Hmm. Okay. Ursus, as you look um, at this king dressed in golden yellow robes mm -hmm. and you peel back 
Your eyes catch the backside of this tapestry. And obviously it was worn through and you put your hand through it. This is actual gold weaved into the tapestry. Wow. But as you turn and look back at it, make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> okay, five. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. You find yourself pulled from the bakery. Oh. The backside of the tapestry. It's the Golden King. Opposite, except you see this image, the king, his face is now hidden. The and yellow king. Throwing out terrifying vivage. Oh. The nobles and the bards that were around him are now dead skulls. And with <coughs> that, you gain three bits of dread. Okay. Um, which, going forward, um, this will be like frightened. Right. Okay. Right. The frightened condition. Um, essentially, exactly like it. You're not going to be able to approach this thing. Um, and anytime you encounter something weird, consider yourself frightened. Okay. All right. But when you peel back the tapestry, there is indeed, despite the fact that it's almost a complete opposite in color, mm -hmm. the scepters in either hand, the mask are all that golden color. Mm -hmm. And that is indeed the symbol. Okay. I totally misunderstood. I thought you said like he was sucked into the tapestry. Yeah, I thought it felt like he was sucked into the tapestry. I, I feel like I was. I wasn't yeah. actually. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, that, okay. I'm with you now. Because I was like, oh, now we have to follow him into the tapestry. Yeah. I, I, I back up a little bit, you know, obviously shaken because uh, I have just veered into this, you know. You back up. There's yeah. a bit of gore on the floor. You slip catch yourself on the edge of the table. There's more blood there and you wipe the sweat from your face and it's covered with blood and gore. Yeah. And... Oh, oh. Why are you bleeding so much, man? Um, are you okay? That... Are you right? You have so much blood in you, right? You're right, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't slip in it. I caught myself. So. You caught yourself in a But you wiped it across your face. Yeah, we'd be like, you got, little, you got like, a little oh. something there. Oh. Wait. It's raspberry. It's raspberry. Uh, it's raspberry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, are you okay? I just got a vision from that from that tapestry. I don't know of the creature. I've only heard rumors of things. <laughs> But I I don't know what this this golden emperor could be, but it's it's horror. That's 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 all I feel is like a sense of dread and horror from peering in. Uh, do not do not touch the tapestry. Uh, yes. The like vision that I saw was of this golden king with antlers, and its subjects that are in the tap that are depicted on the tapestry bards other courtiers and stuff like that were were dead all his subjects were dead well that makes sense that's where we all end up anyways someday so well wait. that helps cheer me up <laughs> sure. uh, so i'm telling luna this because she's the cleric um and saying it loud enough for um yeah. I, I mean, I, was there anything behind it? Behind it, you didn't see that symbol or anything, did you? When you were in this weird, not that I can recall. Not you that I, you and I do. He, I do recall the symbol, king in You're, yellow, and the symbol that he. Oh, that's what that freaking symbol is. Yes, the king. Yeah. Oh my God! Why does Dimlo uh, recognize does... anything that I, I have described? Did he have the same reaction when he saw the symbol? At this point in time, he's just reacting to the gigantic. Yeah, I just uncovered dragon. a giant gold dragon's head. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little distracted. A real giant gold dragon's head. Real, yeah. Real. Well, again, uh... this place is so creepy. 
All right, I'm gonna I wanna take the 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 tapestry. I don't wanna look behind it, but I wanna pull it away and check out the wall. Sure. As you poke the tapestry, you make contact with it and pull oh, it. God. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Come on, damn it. Uh 19. You saw me do that. <laughs> I'm trying not to 19. I also know that I'm pretty, very strong-willed. Yeah. You were drawn in. What, really, on a 19? You pull it back, you feel obligated to look, and you I... are sucked into the court of the king in yellow. A 19, wow. He's dead, all right, well, let me finish here, please. His yes, dead no. uh, are all around him, and you stand in his court, and he waves them away, and they shuffle out. And he turns to look at you and in a beautiful and angelic voice he <laughs> says to you, the priestess follows his orders, much to her lord's dismay. And with that, you find yourself back. You didn't actually look at the tapestry. Yeah. You did indeed peel it back, but you got this vision. Uh, and there is a cupboard. That's it. No safe. Well, it's a cupboard. Do you want to open it? Yeah. You open it. And inside uh, is another jar of what appeared to have been Nana Keebler's starter, um, starter a special starter, um, mm. broken. And her book, which safe is a word, obviously, <laughs> the tapestry was the code you had mm -hmm. to be able to pull across and accept the message and you open it up and there's uh, uh, torn pages and the book is no longer there. Mm, the book's gone. I will take mm -hmm. the pages and I'll take the starter, broken starter. I'm like, well, this is sad. Okay. At uh, which point, uh, uh, George, one of the guards comes walking in. And, um, excuse me. I thought you might have wanted to, uh, the, the witness, who saw the robbery last night uh, oh. uh, said that uh, uh, several people entered the building and she saw uh, uh, several of them go down into into the sewers. Okay, that might explain mm -hmm. oh, where we're at. At that point, his eyes go wide, catatonic, as this dragon, which was just a stone dragon, has been revealed. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, let's get I, out. Oh, guy. <laughs> Want to get It's, it's just a dragon. Calm down. It's a <laughs> dragon, okay? It's not Maybe. real. Oh, it's real. <laughs> Definitely real. It's a, dra it's a dragon. <laughs> or undead? You know what? I'm going to use, just because I, I get it a zillion times a day, I'm going to use Eyes of the Grave on that dragon just to see if it's undead at all. Or dead, or let me see. Let me look up that feature. Basically, detect undead. Yeah, that's yeah. great. And okay, any undead within sixty feet that isn't behind total cover, and isn't protected from divination magic to your next turn. All right, so I will use that and see what the if that dragon is an undead dragon, because I can't believe it's still alive. Um, the faintest hint of undeath. Does it really you freak from out? The... You're a level 16 cleric. How, how would you interpret that? Dragon head is, and if you lit a match inside of it, yeah. that would be the sense. It's yes, this is enormous, and there's this hint of undead. So, uh, can I make no an arcana action. check to see if I think I might know what that means? Go for it. Yeah, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys. Absolutely true. Uh, oh, this is awesome. 19. 19. Um, you look at this, investigate it, you hear her say, yeah, there's this hint of undeath. You start looking around the oven and with your investigation, you start noticing these sigils that are designed to be like a- um, Preserve it. To preserve it and to every once in a while, activate it. The fire. Activate the fire, essentially. Yeah, yeah. so she's just killed, a, she, she killed 
a you know giant gold dragon and she's using it magically as an oven and i respect her for that so i kind of do too but it is um, maybe that's why your cookies taste so good ursus go ahead and make a history check for me sure being a shifter yourself yes <laughs> uh history uh didn't roll high <laughs> 10 what's the number 10 10 yeah yeah it's kind of obvious to you um, because at one point you may have been hired to <laughs> go after and hunt down were rats in the sewer. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a thieves guild. Yeah. Were rats. Right. Yeah, was, again, I don't know why you arrest an old lady for killing were rats that broke into her house. So Even if she does have a gold dragon in her living room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I asked it's just gone at the moment he's yeah it's kind of oh i i think we should go to the store <laughs> although what do you guys think of the starter now now i heard somebody mentioned that's a lot of salt i would know i don't do baking but what do you think this really is because i don't think it's a recipe per se for the actual sourdough bread I mean, maybe it is, but it has a lot of salt, is what everyone's saying. What do you think this if really we find is? Her book, we can find some more uh, information. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is, and I actually, as, as we leave, go to leave, I want to take a look at the pages I found. Hmm. All right, uh, why don't you make an investigation? And I'll share, and I'll share with people too, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I try to give some insight to the group and I tell them that, you know, based on from what I've known about where rats and heard uh, this guard's story about the witness seeing people are coming in and out of the sewer. I think, I think we are uh, looking at some kind of uh, thieves guild or something, probably operating out of the sewer. Wouldn't surprise me. All the are boys they stay coming here. Do they have shells? Mm. <laughs> it's one of the most like bow snaps. Um, <laughs> there's four, there's four uh, weird turtles. In and there. they were grabbing a slice of pizza for some odd reason. Exactly. Yeah, they, they they thought this was a pizza shop and, you know, yeah, yeah. some other kind of bakery. Did she make uh, really good pizza dough? <laughs> anyway, I think we should check out the, uh, the sewers. I'm with you. I agree. Oh, by the way, that was only an 11 investigation check. Well, I'm, I'm not really investigating deep. I'm just reading to see what's on there. <laughs> what's on, on there? The, on those pages, the pages from the book that were ripped out. They snagged. Make a wisdom save. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys it, are Kyle. looking really deep into this stuff, man. I'm 23. I have, I have a really good wisdom save, so I picked the right character for this adventure. Yeah, no, you stare at it and these symbols appear. 100 grams of dark chocolate, 100, just appears to be a recipe. Yeah. I, uh, I turn to my ferret and I'm like, come on, Percival, and I grab a plate of cookies on the way out. Does sure. it say how to have I grab a few too. Sure. It's like grab a whole tray off the shelf. Yeah, there sure. is no like cheesecake or creme brulee. There's bread. It's a make an investigation roll. That's what I was asking <laughs> for earlier. Do you, does your character say that out loud? Because my passive investigation is 24. I've already scoped out all yeah. the food. As she yeah. says it, you point. It's right there. <laughs> it's yeah. actually a barely open cupboard, but you just caught glistening <laughs> sugar in your eyelight. That one. <laughs> and there are indeed five creme brulees. Uh, nice. <laughs> I take them. <laughs> five of them yes yes i have a i have a tray of cookies yeah you're gonna go donuts. kill rare rats you need sustenance hey hey kyle you'll appreciate this are there any donuts oh no are there any cupcakes there's gotta be cupcakes like you know maybe or donut i reach back and i grab luna and i'm like come on we don't have time for this <laughs> <laughs> they were right there but we need to get going go on. <laughs> have a cookie shut up as you go start approaching uh, uh, one of the sewer uh, manholes and uh, you hear this manhole. 
It wasn't that one. It was this one that I saw those men disappear down. <laughs> right over here. We can go there. It don't matter me. They're probably all interconnected anyways. So, yeah, go investigate the the manhole entrance. Trying to see. <laughs> you want to? I'm gonna probe the manhole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's Blake for this adventure, man? <laughs> <laughs> I know. There would have been some kind of you know comment <laughs> with that anyway. Um. Yeah, gonna check to see if there's an entrance that we can. Yeah, sure. Get As you look at the manhole, there's the uh, <laughs> signature beaver. We're so bad. That is uh, engraved. There's a on beaver the on your manhole. Yeah, <laughs> beaver on the manhole. It's just beaver town. That, that's for you, Blake. There you go. You investigate. Yeah. yeah. With your muscles, you manage pull to pull it back it out of the way. Okay. And there's the. <clears throat> it's dark down there. Yeah. It is. Uh, with uh, my dark vision, I think I've got superior or whatever. So, so 120 feet. Yeah. Sure, yeah. You see down there and you see lots of gray. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, wait, one that's in the manhole? Huh? What? <laughs> no, we're still up. We're still up. We just we're still, still up front. Uh, I, is there a rock? I assume there's a rock. I, I, I say, uh, say at uh, this point with the sunlight behind me, I can't really see too much further. Is there, ahead. Is there a rock? That I can like a hand-sized rock lying around that I could pick up. Um, check my roll the D twelve. Oh, first roll. All right, tonight. Frank. All right, first roll tonight. Five. Five. Yeah, there's a piece of rubble that came off of Nana Keebler's picture. Sure. I pick it up and I'm like, hang on. And I cast light on it. And I throw it down into the uh, into the manhole. Sure, you throw it down. Um, you see scrapes footprints along the edge there um someone did go down here okay uh does it look like there's access like uh well there's a ladder, ladder. I have to yeah it's... yeah that's what i'm sure okay no i want you guys to jump down jump on I need, down <laughs> i need you to waste one spell cast feather fall <laughs> gentlemen with a list what did you see <laughs> Gentleman with the list. The, the, oh, the old lady. Witness. The oh, was it a lady? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not what I heard when you were talking at all. Yeah, there's <laughs> three guys I saw went down there last night. Right out of Nana Keebler's bakery. They were in a hurry. <laughs> we we didn't jump down yet, did we? You haven't gone down yet, no. Shall we? Shall we go down, get down there? <clears throat> I mean, um, yeah, really? I, th I think we should. <laughs> okay, before we go down, I take out a red ribbon. It's a mask. I tie it on my face. And then I proceed to give everyone else one blue, one yellow, and one purple. I take the purple. I take the purple because it's purple. <laughs> I get some purple. I love purple. That's because I love purple, not just my character. Oh my goodness. Just okay. So we're turning this into a masker thing. So when I recover from the psychic damage of having this ribbon tied around my face, <laughs> I climb down the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mask for safety. Yep, you climb down the ladder, you see footprints. Actually, some older, some newer. Um the sewer go in multiple directions or one direction? They go in multiple directions. I take the ribbon off my face and I tie it on the ladder that we just climbed down. Yeah. Oh man, but now how are we going to know we're all in this gang together? <laughs> I cast light on the end of my uh, battle axe. There, I'm the dwarf with the glowing battle axe. <laughs> Supposed to be turtles? <laughs> I got it. That's the psychic damage. <laughs> Okay. You are standing at the bottom of a manhole cover. There's light shining down. Battle axe is lit. There's footprints all around you that you guys can see. And a floating head. And a floating head. That's weird. A long dark tunnel. You guys see this floating head everywhere we go, or is it just me? Oh my, you yeah, know. I think that's that touch of madness you got going. Did I smoke too much today? <laughs> 
I don't think so. We, I think we're all seeing this floating head. And you know what's amazing in this? The proportions are just proportions are just perfect <laughs> on that, the to the to the manhole <coughs> or the sewer line. Kyle, you have the perfect size head for a manhole. Apparently, <laughs> you do. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Never Which way does it look like there's more <laughs> rat-like scrapes? Right. Is there, there are more footprints leading away, obviously, right? Uh, we in check. various, well, in either direction, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you like, you can make a survival check to see the most recent. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, 18. Uh, survival. 19. Oh my! Wow, just one up them, didn't you? <laughs> it's not that kind of competition, Kyle. Yeah, we haven't yeah. started combat yet. Sorry, I'm used to being on the other side. <laughs> uh, now, you find a clear set of tracks and you start following them. Okay. Left at the next intersection, straight. Are we all wearing plate mail? Uh, no. Almost. <laughs> so really, more marching orders are relevant. We're just kind of yeah, loudly yeah. tromping through the sewers. Yeah. Ste we, we don't have stealthies among us. <laughs> I will get the back. <laughs> Make a acrobatics constitution check. Oh, Lord. This is traipsing through the sewers. You're avoiding the piles of shit. You're trying to deftly step through. And whoever has the highest is going to be in the lead. Lowest in the back. Uh, I want to, wait, I want to be at the back. So we're adding constitution modifiers to this too? Is yes. that what you're saying? Okay. You get your constitution modifier. It's a con check. 15 acrobatics, uh, 18 constitution. Okay. Uh, so combine the two into one check. So instead of using your dexterity, you use your acrobatics and your okay. constitution check. One die roll. One die roll. 18. Uh, 19. 19. 19. Uh, You're great. You appear to be leaving at the moment. 25. <laughs> you used to be leaving at the moment, but uh, deftly, uh, uh, Ursus, your fighter, is just uh, slumping uh, through. <laughs> <laughs> just knows where to step in the right places. It's like he's been in this shithole before. <laughs> uh, we'll go with Luna. I, I rolled a 17. Okay. If you want to go into the back, you can, but it's going to be determined by Riley. What'd you roll? A six. Rolled a six. We're so winning. I'm going to say, as you guys are traveling around here, yeah. if you're staying She's just like, right ew. 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 <laughs> I just don't give she a shit. Stepping in every awkward pile of poop. Every Her once in a while, there's this shower. Oh, <laughs> you dodged the first one. The second one got you, though. And oh. you slow down. And <laughs> Luna, you are behind her, and you just watch this. Thank goodness she was there in front of you because you are avoiding all of her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she ruined those Manolo Blahniks. Huh? <laughs> but like, you guys are, in general, just drifting. Spa treatment. Real fancy spa treatment, like we uh -huh. have back home. There it is. Okay, so we're tra traipsing through <laughs> this. Um, left, right, straight, right, left, left. And okay. as you get there, you find yourself. Um, and you have light cast, correct? Yes. Dimlo? Uh, Dimlo yeah. does, yeah. Yeah, I have it on my axe, so it's kind of like a torch. Yeah. Uh, you find yourself at the end. There is a doorway ahead of you. Uh, Dimlo, with your passive investigation and perception, you see that about 15 feet of the floor ahead of you doesn't look quite right compared to the rest of this sewer trap, but there is bricked off, much newer than some of the stuff on the side. There is a lever, a door, um, and there appear to be some symbols painted above the lever. Oh. Pull the lever. YOLO, man. I uh, cast Firebolt at the funky-looking piece of floor. Sure. Uh, go ahead and um, roll damage. I'm assuming you're going to hit. 
I would, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, Does it appear like uh, shimmering grayish? 3D10. <laughs> Oh no, my neck is starting to 18 disappear. fire damage. Yeah. Um, you hit it, steam sizzles up in the air, uh, kind of dries it out a little bit, and you see there are line of holes in the grate. Um, this is not a natural floor. This looks obvious. This is a trap door. Going down? Or like a trap that could fall that you could fall into. Yeah, more like a boop. Yeah. 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 I mean, it stands out, honestly. Um, as you were taking the time to fireball, um, even uh, even Caitlin with her passive perception is like, guys, that's a trap. That's that's a pitfall. Trap. <laughs> no, I should avoid word. that. Yeah. I go closer, uh, not stepping on the trap and see what sure. the symbols are. Sure. Um and what languages do you speak, or any secret languages? All the pertinent ones. Uh, common, Draconic, Dwarvish, and Giant. Okay. I speak Quarry uh, and Sylvan, so does any of that look familiar? Nope. Right now. Abyssal? Nope. Otherwise, I don't think it'd be that. <clears throat> and finally, Caitlin. My languages? Yep, or any secret languages you have. Uh, I mean, you know what? Internal, I guess, but besides that, they're just normal. No, it's probably under common. I you know can... I should have taken it. Wait, wait. If you, it's more tied to a class than uh, uh, you are breaking into a thieves uh, guild. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. that's what I'm saying. Uh, thieves can't. Does anyone speak it? No, no, they can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was looking to see if maybe I had, um, I don't have, like, comprehend languages. I have tongues, but tongues is spoken only. I didn't take comprehend languages. I didn't think we'd be doing any role playing or much role playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scenario, so. I might actually know it, but I don't have it prepared, so. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's probably not fine, but it's fine. You could, you, uh, Riley, you, you, you can. Start, you, you can kind of get a better look at these symbols, but at the distance you're at, passively, you're not really being... Does it look like we could move around the trap without triggering it? If you could spider climb. This entire... So it takes up the whole width of the floor. Whole width. The walkway. Yeah. Uh, which one is the smallest of us? The tiefling? The gnome. No, the, the one oh, not the gnome. Okay. plate armor. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I have no visuals. We've never yeah, played... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's fair. It's fair. Like, come here, let me show you something. <laughs> We're gonna gnome toss her. Yes. I grab her and I, I toss grab her one in and I assist <laughs> and we toss her across the, the thing. Oh god, what are they gonna roll? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Athletics with advantage. Oh, to throw her? Yeah. With, with assistance, yeah. Are you trying to get her to the door? Yes. Because I mean, it's all the way up to the door. This is yeah. obviously all pit trap. Oh, it's all pit trap. So there, all there's pit. a. I misunderstood then. I thought it was just like door. in the middle of the walkway. So uh, essentially, so you're at the end. You're at the edge there. Yeah. 15 feet. This is all obvious pit trap. See, now I really wish you then had. Then there's the stone wall, mm -hmm. the door, a lever, and there appeared <laughs> to be some sort of Runes. scratchings and musings above the lever itself. Okay. Um, anybody got I mean, some I can rope? cast water breathing. Anybody got what? Uh, I've got rope. So I'm going to try to make uh, like a kind of like a noose uh, or, you know, Mosin's knot or something like Put that. Put this around your neck and we'll pull you we'll up. We'll lower you down. I've, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, and try to I loop it nice over. Lever fi level fireball. Over the lever and walk back and pull the lever. Oh. Ow. It's don't have flip. Why? It just kind of. No, I don't have it prepared. Yeah, you want me to? You want me to roll? Uh, yep. Sleight of hand or acrobatics? 
Athletics. Okay. Athletics, cowboy. You got a roper. Yeah. Uh, athletics. Okay. That'll be a 20. Not natural. Yeah. You get it up around the lever. You decide to pull, yes? Yes. Go, go. <laughs> I don't have guidance. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't think I have guidance. In this I guy. take it we're going to have to start running, huh? Uh, no, you pull the, um, the lever. There's this click, another click, and this is heard from your passive perception friends, <laughs> the cleric and the fucking wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Something clicked. Yeah. And it clicked again. Mm hmm. And that's it. That's it. Huh? All right. Did it sound like it was coming from underneath that spot in the floor? Oh, one of them did, yes. Oh. I clicked from under there. Specifically. The other one was towards the door in that general direction. So downward. Forward. Call, down. You heard the door is 15 feet away from you. It came from that direction. Whether it was the door itself who clicked or not, you don't know. Okay, but none of the traps sprung. The the, the sprung. vault, nothing sprung. Okay. Want to go over it? You walk over it. Okay, we go over it. I know feather vault, but I also don't have it prepared. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh. As you get closer to it, you look at the thieves can't. Um, give me an intelligence check if you kind of want to kind of decipher that. Okay. Uh, intelligence 19. 19? Yeah. Symbols. You get closer to it, and it's like, no, no, it's too close. You back away. And it kind of appears clear that if you pull the lever, the door opens. If you open the door, the trap goes. Ah, uh, okay. Like, if you open the door by the handle, the trap goes. Yep. Right. But if you pull the lever, the door will open. Yep. Okay. And the anyway, the door is closed in front of you. What would you like to do? Oh, I thought we pulled the lever. Um, yeah. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. You Luna, pull the lever again? after you? Staying off the pit trap myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I don't quite understand is I figure pulling the lever would... I have a tray of cookies. I turn to the pallet and I'm like, cookie? <laughs> this is going to be yeah, a good you show. Pull the lever. You walk onto the trap. You kind of look at it and it's like, okay, if I pull the lever, the door opens. Go through. I open the door, it falls through. So do you go through the door? Do you pull the lever again? Uh, wait, is the door happening? I'm eating my creme brulee. Wait, is the door open right now? It honestly is the best smelling thing down here. <laughs> You're still included in that. Wait, so wait, is the door open or closed right now? Uh, okay. It's closed. But you can... Gotta use, gotta use, try the lever, I guess. Okay. You pull the lever. <laughs> You hear click in the floor, click on the door. Push the door? Who do you think is going to die first? <laughs> Touch the door and the pit <laughs> opens. Yes? I'm like very confused. We follow the directions and this is not right? To be fair, none of you read Thieves Can't. Right. Uh, and since we're already at the point, you pull the lever, the door is safe to open. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you open the door without pulling the lever, the pit yeah, falls. You the fall lever. to your death. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, pretty much. So do me a favor, roll a dexterity saving throw. The two of you who are on it, the creme brulee and cookie eaters, since you backed away while they were decided to mess with it. Oh, this is a good part. This is a good part. This Watch. is a good part. Watch. No, I fall. I'm. Oh. Sorry. Well, you're falling either way. <laughs> yeah. Is that how much damage you take? That's the that's the thing. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I'm rather confused by how this all worked because we 15. Had, we pulled the lever and the door didn't open. So Yeah, my, my DC was 15. Or if you pull the lever, the door is unlocked and you are free to open it. Again, mm -hmm. though, you don't uh, understand thieves can't, so you didn't really get the idea. Uh What'd you roll again? I'm sorry. 15. Uh, 15? Okay. 15 for Bear Man. 15 makes it exactly. Uh, Luna, you take 33 
points of damage. Your oh. Thing. Oh. 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 You will take half of that versus. Okay. Oh, 16. Okay. You fall down, opens up, and the cookies, the creme brulee are delicious. Yeah. The barbs that are down in this 15 foot drop hole are vicious, nasty looking barb things. Like if you try to pull this out, it is going to hurt. But if you look on either side of the end, there is a potential safe way down if you want to go down there and pull these guys off. I don't think that's what they need right now. All right, we can't pull ourselves off? You can pull yourselves off, but you are on barbed pins. You've got more of them than Ursus does. Yeah. And you are going to hurt yourself if you don't carefully take these out. I could cast Fireball down there and it would take care of the problem. <clears throat> uh, now, the... What do I have for stuff? Can you sh- uh, Can you sculpt your spells? Yes. So, so I should sculpt could... them to only hit you two and leave all the barbs. Got <laughs> <laughs> How about hit all the barbs and leave us two out of it? <laughs> that would be difficult because the barbs are in your body. Right, exactly. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> that, I mean, I'm not like close to even remotely close to being dead. So, I mean, this yeah. uh, should should we go down and try to help them? Th- this uh, causes me to shift. So when I shift, I've got uh, 21 t- uh, temp points, and I'm going to try to move myself off the barb. Hold on. Will this work? All right. We need a jay. Uh, do me a favor. Roll a constitution. That's right. Claw game. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't hear you, Kyle. I couldn't hear you, Kyle. Constitution. constitution check. To pull yourself off. Okay. I will, I will start to work. You said there's a safe path uh, down. I'll start to go down that path. 20. 20? Yeah. yeah. No, you, pain doesn't stop you. You are the beast. Yes. Uh, you take <laughs> 16 more points of damage, though, as you, again, rip these barbs out of your flesh. Okay. Hey, I got a question. Will freedom of movement do it? Mm. Are they considered no magical strengths, such as manacles or a creature is grappled? Um, would that work? I, this is a weird way to ask, but it's it's thinking outside the box. Roll a d12. Yep, that's fair. Uh, nope, it's not going to work because I rolled a one. No, I also rolled a one, so d12 again. Oh, well, hey, that was surprising. Yeah, I rolled a 12. Did you roll 12? Four. All right. So yeah, a- looking at this, they're non-magical. If you want to try it. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Ah, I gave you the answer beforehand. Yeah, no. As you cast the spell, you uh, sink down further into the floor as these barbs continue to pass through you. But your what? form is kind of ghastly. The, the, the power of your god flowing through you kind of turns you semi-ghostly in this shape where it's holding on to you. So can I just then free myself and you walk yourself through? yourself out, wisp of you float away and come back and you're whole and a corporeal again. Right, with holes. $15 word of the day, guys. It was on my toilet paper roll. <laughs> uh, but you are now both at the end of the pit. One of you bloody and beasted out and the other just I'm bloody. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look behind you towards the door. There is uh, a lever. This one actually in the pit trap. Oh. And a ladder going up towards the door. Oh, Lord. I am like so paranoid about freaking flipping another lever. <laughs> this one doesn't actually have any symbols on it at this point. I look at, I will look at my a party member in there go do should we flip this lever um do you think i don't see any other other doors like like we can't fall any further so <laughs> <laughs> so let's flip the lever i will flip this lever flip the lever you hear a click coming up from the door all right all right it's probably open now i think it goes my voice probably open now 
I heard a click. Okay. So is there any way in or out? Like, are, are there corridors leading from this, this pitfall? You can or... make your way through the barbs a little bit here and there carefully. Mm -hmm. Climb up a ladder that leads to the door. <laughs> climb up a ladder that leads back the other okay. way. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to climb on up towards the door. Okay. You do that. I and do that. The door is there in front of you. It is closed. It's not open. Closed. Do you want to open the door now? Well, there's no. I, I'm taking guesses here, guys. So. Pull the lever. Yeah, I pulled the lever. And... You pulled the lever. Yes, you heard the click from the door. Yes, open it. I think it's fine. I'll push the door. Pretty... So door opens up fine. Nothing else happens. Uh, the trap's still open. Up. Huh? The trap's still open. The trap is still open. Um, as Ursus, as you go through, your dark <laughs> vision allows you to see that there is a lever on your side. Mm -hmm. um, and is yeah, Luna you're still in dark vision right now? That's all you see. Is and... Luna still in the pit, or is uh, she no, out? I climb up the ladder, and and if worse comes worse, I would freaking do the door because I'm the one saying I think it's safe. Sure. I'll put myself in harm's way before all of you. Yeah. Plus, I can heal myself if I really or do it. Everyone else in harm's way and save yourself. Sure. Not <laughs> how. Not how I miss Sully. <laughs> no, no, I don't like to play that role as much. Oh. Uh, okay. The uh, pit trap's still open. The door is now open. Doors now. Yeah. We could climb down, walk across, and climb up and get into the door. Yeah. Sure. Fine. Yeah. Make a dexterity saving throw as you make your way down and through the pit trap. So you lied to me when you said there was a safe path down, I see. I mean, you might cut yourself. All right. It's safe, you can just jump. Um, next saving throw, yeah, 10. 10. You take one point of piercing damage as you just kind of scratch yourself along the way. It's like a paper cut. It's a deep Ow. One. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, uh, are you making a dexterity saving throw, or are you going to finish that creme brulee? <laughs> or you can wait to see if maybe they reset the trap. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have to walk across still? I'm going to fall. Oh, my goodness. All right, I finished eating my creme brulee. I can pull you across, but it would hurt you. <laughs> Take a deep breath. And I, I'm not gonna make it. My okay. throws are horrible. You guys are over there. Do you perchance pull on the lever? Or actually, Dimlo, as you get up there with your lighted battle axe, you notice that on the lever it says, Damn it, Ernie, don't forget to set the trap again. Um, I rolled a 20 for Dex. But I don't know how to set the trap. Weave through. Oh, there's a lever there. There's a lever. Yeah. Oh. Probably hit the lever oh, again. Oh, yeah, while I'm still coming through. <laughs> As <laughs> you're going through, you pull the lever, it sets right back in. <laughs> oh, hey, come on. I'm kidding. We let, hopefully we let Get up. You pull the lever, it resets the trap. The door actually swings itself shut right behind you guys. Okay. Uh, That's convenient. Pass through the pull to open trap. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I go ahead and take a healing potion. <laughs> one of the, one of the, just the greater. So, have a cookie. Yeah, uh, maybe. I'll Thank you. <laughs> Cookies heal. Four plus four. Maybe I'll take one too. Nothing says loving like something from the oven. So, the oven <laughs> is a giant dragon's face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are like metal cookies. All right. You know what? Better than the other end. Five, seven, nine. Okay. That's a different dragon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's the poop dragon. No, I'm just kidding. Well, where do you think the chocolate chips came from? <laughs> exactly. That's why they're so hard. <laughs> but yeah, it's so fresh. Okay. Yeah, I pop a greater heel to uh, one of the greater heels too. So, um, so yeah, I guess uh, we just start making Anyone? our way. Sure. Mm -hmm. We'll roll the survival check on over. Uh, and you left, right, left, 
You come down a long stretch of pipe uh, and with dark vision, uh, Ursus, I believe you said you had the longest range of it. I think so, there are yeah. two mounds, and with the lighted battle axe, you find again uh, a corpse loaded and another one where it has been shattered, exploded, uh, and oh. you two come upon this. You can make that wisdom saving throw with advantage again. Uh, and Ursus, you are actually under the points of dread. Um, mm -hmm. So if you do not succeed on this one, you're not getting any closer to this, okay? Okay, gotcha. Uh, but you have advantage. You've seen this once before, and it was horrifying. But Yeah, is this a wisdom saving throw? Wisdom okay. saving throw, with advantage. Uh, with advantage, okay. Uh, not, didn't load you too, since you're up there. Not great, but uh, 15. 15? Just a 19. More than enough. Uh, you approach the bodies. Um, very similar to the previous one. Ursus, since you kind of took note of it before, mm -hmm. the whole intact corpse that's starting to bloat. Mm -hmm. um, it's another wear ring, ring on his finger. Still has his ring on his finger? Still has his ring on his finger. Um... Luna, Riley, as you come up, you can also make the wisdom saving throw with advantage. Okay. I'm gonna ones, Luna. Come on. I'm gonna remove the 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 ring no, from no. its finger. Mm-hmm. Nineteen. Uh, look at it. Nineteen, you're good. Mm -hmm. Riley. Yeah, I take a look at it. Uh in shrewd rat like claws, a gem. And with your history check. Uh, make a history check, please. I'm making a history check? No, Riley, your wisdom saving throw with advantage. Wait, what did I just say? Uh, did you say 20 something? Uh, just rolled a 10. So. 10 again? Yeah, you're not going to know. Okay. Can I make a history check? Sure. Can I make a history check for them? If you like. 23. 23? Uh, uh -huh. This is. The signet ring of the Nabblers, the thieves rare guild. rat thieves guild here. Okay. The Boy, that was hard to figure out. Horribly named. <laughs> all the, time. the Nabblers. The Nabblers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I continue to say that I don't understand why you arrest an old lady for killing some were rats in her own business mm -hmm. when they broke in. Yeah. But, Oh, I don't get it either. I don't think it was. I don't think it was Nana that killed these were rats. And at that point, Luna, with both your medicine and your high perception, the bloated corpse is actually breathing. Oh crap! What? Like breathe it like it's alive? Uh huh. Or he's alive. Wait, hold on, hold on. She's alive. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. It, they, them is alive. <laughs> yeah, I covered no. all my faces. I think I'm good, guys. <laughs> You're a chink down the hallway. Damn it. I did it. <laughs> you did it again. You made this racist, Kyle. It's alive and not undead, right? Yeah, they, them. Uh, they them. Are you going to check? They, yeah. While uh, using your amazing ability to check for undead? I'm going to do the, yeah, I will use. Um, Oh, whatever the hell that's called. You know what it's called, right? Uh, a guys of the grave. Yeah, no. Um, corpse is breathing. It's. I was about to say. Uh, not blipping on your radar. It's undead, don't, don't breathe. We're level 16. We would know that. I know. That's kind of why I'm like, it's really breathing, breathing. And it's and if I go up and touch it, it's warm, right? I'm not yeah, going to use At that point, you touch it <coughs> and he coughs. They, them coughs. They them coughs. They them coughs. You see foam around the mouth. Hey, what killed you? They're not dead. Shut up. What killed you? <laughs> uh, Pat. Pat. Pat didn't kill me. Son Pat of a bitch. Pat grabbed you and killed you. Pat's another way rat. Who? Oh. He, he was. <laughs> he led us into Nana Keebler's. <laughs> yeah. Why did, did some weird magic to you to make you blow up like this? No, no. <laughs> that's, 
that's what we found at Keebler's. Oh. Hey, wait, wait. Why did you go there? Pat, Pat said there was something good that Nana Keebler had. She, she was rich. Yeah, they're cookies. <laughs> yes, really good. Oh cookies. God, those were delicious. I wish I could have one. Uh, Punch him. <laughs> or it they. <laughs> or it they. Um, and with that last question, I did have a number of questions for you. He dies. I punch him anyway. No, it. punch him. More of this foam starts coming out. Fucking cookie thieves. Smell of brine, sewage. Brine. Huh? Yeast. Pickles? Yeah. Maybe. The pickle mm. factory is right above you. <laughs> now, so, Beaver Town is a, a, a seaside town. It could be backwashed from the water. Backwash. Keep it to yourself. Salty sea coming back up the sewers. It's not a great town. So um, so glad we're here. They're harried yeah. with a lot of issues. It's it's one of the reasons Nana Keebler wanted out of here. I noticed most of them were hairy. <laughs> uh, anything on them? Gold pouches? Anything like that? Or, uh, yeah, you can go through. There's a nice set of uh, pick locks. There's you're, about you're, you're looting the wear at corpse. Mm -hmm. oh, that's fine. We may find something useful. Yeah, it's oh. not looting. It's upcycling. There we go. No, no, no. You're just a level 16 fighter looting a shitty wear rat thief. In a I was going to say, minute. meanwhile, you probably do have about 3,000 yeah. guns. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. I keep I'm walking. Like right, right. Yeah, you, you well, there's a set of thieves' tools, but okay. All right. Hey, it was worth a look. So <laughs> hey, I say we. Their own. I, I say we press forward. So. Yep. Yeah. Go. Following the tracks, mm -hmm. uh, you eventually um, get led to a split. And as you're approaching the split, Dimlo, Luna, uh, uh, even Riley at this point, you hear chanting, murmur, talking, harried breathing. Uh, it's coming from either side of you. A am I feeling a sense of dread from either direction at this point since I was affected? Mm -hmm. I would say mm, not quite. You don't have the greatest passive perception. Right. Uh -huh. This is when it's good you don't have the greatest passive perception. Yeah, 15 is I have great that passive bad. Perception. What do I <laughs> that, means, that means that at least you're not going to be scared of what you can't hear. So now okay. you hear some stuff. Um, you're not quite up there with Ursus as far as the horrors that he saw. Um, so there's people at either end of this hallway mm -hmm. uh, chanting and murmuring. Yeah, so it doesn't chanting matter which one that we go to, we're going to encounter people on either side. Mm -hmm. Left to right. Left to right. Mm -hmm. Is chanting coming one direction and talking coming from the other? They're they're coming from both. Does one of them sound more heavily populated than the other? <laughs> yeah. Echoing of a sewage place, I'm gonna say no. You can't really tell that. Let's go. Any oh, any what about footprints and stuff? Same. The footprints have been falling. Which way do they go? You would have to roll another survival for that one. At this point, all the footprints are much fresher at this point. Uh, uh, that's Ooh, fresh a, footprints. That's a 15 for me for survival. Uh, a 20 for Ursus. Mm. Not natural, but. Mm. Right, right, right. To the, oh. to to the, the left. left. Okay. And right. I, I motion that way. I say right. <laughs> What? Whatever, whatever way you said was the freshest. You say this direction, and do you guys go that direction? Yes. Yeah. You it's go down that direction. There's a pit. Curves around in a very circular kind of way. You come across another one. Chanting's coming from there. Chanting's coming from ahead of you. Chanting's coming from behind you. Oh, God. There's this... light at the end of this side tunnel. 
Uh, light indicates people. People are things we can hit. We died. I just. Uh, I walk toward okay. the light. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go into Don't the go light. Ahead. As you start walking down that tunnel, the murmurs turn to gasps. There's a shriek. And then you hear the sounds of battle, except large swooshes in the air and silence to go along with it. Whoa. Okay. Like only one side is really intentionally making noise. Right. Don't go into the light. Only go into the darkness. Never trust the light. Mm -hmm. Do you continue forward? Dim low. Dim low? Yes. Yes. Okay. You. So the sound, the intentional sound, is coming from the direction I'm walking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a trap, but I walk anyway. Walk in anyway. The walk in. The other people, I assume, follow behind. Yes or no? Yep. Yes. Dimlo in the lead. The entire party sees. Uh, oh, did I save that image or no? Boo boo boo. Ah, shit! I didn't. All right. You see, do you guys, you're familiar with what starter actually looks like? Uh, like a bread starter? Like a bread starter. Yeah. It's like a ball. Yellow uh, mm -hmm. air pockets here and there. Uh, oh, me? We found dweeblicks, didn't we? <laughs> uh, at that point, that's over my head. <laughs> um, that, that's the ooze god. Yeah. Oh, crap. You walk in. Oh, you can't see the bottom here. You ended up walking in at the main entrance right here. There's oh, wow. massive blob of what looks like starter. <laughs> Tentacles, pseudopods are coming out of it. Every once in a while, <laughs> teeth. Somebody's sharing porn down here. It looks like cheese. <laughs> or scallion. Uh, there is a group of were rats all around you, some in front of you. Uh, as you're looking, there are some who are shooting hand crossbows at it, some which are being grabbed by these pseudopods, sucked in. Uh, the more you look in the room, you notice that there are some rafters. Yeah! That actually a raised floor mm -hmm. along this path as well here. It's like if okay. you climbed up these ladders right here, you could get to a top section that looks down on all of this. Okay. Some were rats up there. There's a couple of them who are gibbering to themselves, rocking back and forth. Some who are singing right here on the corner. You see a were rat holding a cookbook, shrieking and pointing at the other were rats. You see foam coming down his eyes. His hands are dripping fluid, and this gigantic starter monster in the middle. Uh, and with that, roll initiative. <laughs> I knew that. Uh, it's a moral dilemma between killing the obvious monster or watching it eat the were rats, who are also bastards. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to watch this. It's like live theater, so dramatic and exciting. <laughs> uh, 18 for Ursus. 12 for Dimlo. Oh, and I'll be right back. got a 12 too. <laughs> Natural 20 for a 21. Nice. Holy crap. <laughs> Very nice. Um, Dimlo is a 12. So your initiative was a 1? <laughs> my, my initiative bonus is a plus 1. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm a cleric. Clerics, it's there's a joke about cleric speed in our groups around here. And although Pathfinder second ed, that's no longer the case because of what you use. But for all the other forms, cleric speed still is slow. Okay. Yeah, like, no. oh, my fighter has like a plus five. Okay. And, how and with that. Carol, you are in this room and you see a godforsaken horrible sight in front of you. Do I think that thing is from another plane? Well, roll a wisdom saving throw first. Roll a wisdom saving throw, okay. Uh-huh, and this is the monster. 
Oh, I made it. That's a 19 on the die, so that's a 29. You make it. You manage to hold your sanity together. Yeah. And only take one level of dread. You cannot approach this thing unless you make a wisdom saving throw. I may not need to. As I said, do I think this thing should move to the point? <laughs> like, was it summoned That's from a good one. Of existence? I think if you throw uh, religion or the on him, he'll be okay. We'll make a religion check. Come on. Well, let me stop you before you do that. I am the mean DM who kind of follows the rules on this one. This will take your action as you try yeah, to understand. You know what? It'll be worth it because if it is from another plane of existence, I won't be wasting a fourth level. If it's not, rather, I won't be wasting a fourth level spell slot for to try to banish it. Sure. Um, so that is a religion? That's yes. 18. What? Eight, one, eight, 18. I think it's from no, another. No, possibly, yeah. Possibly. Possibly. This thing does not look human. Well, it's not that, but you know, I mean. You stare at it, teeth are coming out, disappearing, an eyeball here and there, and it's just reaching out, liquefying were rats, or sometimes just grabbing them and yanking them into the thing. Wow. All right. I'm going to announce a that movement and a bonus action at this point. All right, so I'm not going to move, per se. Well, I'm going to move so that I'm within, what's the range in that? 60 feet. I assume I'm within range of it anyways. Sure. Um, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you no, what. Or not, um, yeah. This is I'm a gonna... very, fairly small room, 60 feet to 60 feet at its widest point. Yeah. And widest point, there is a tunnel over here. <laughs> it's actually behind this mask, so how much you kind of garner from that, you'll find out. Um, you are probably within 15 to 25 feet of it. Okay, so um, I'm going to, sorry, excuse me. Instead of a move, I'm going to, I'll announce to the party, I'm like, I'm going to try to, if, if, if you want to focus on the rats, I'm kind of going to stay out of that thing's way, the tentacle reach, and I'm going to try to banish it next, uh, when I get to go again. And a bonus action, huh? I don't know if I really I had spiritual weapon. I could do spiritual weapon. Um, maybe it will say spiritual weapon. I will do spiritual weapon as a third level spell. And I'll send it at the rat that has the book. The rat that has the book. Uh, what's yeah. the distance on that? 60 feet. 60 feet, yeah. Okay, so I've got a plus 10 to hit him. The reaper sight is there. Because I get to hit him right off the bat. Ah, oh, perfect. That's a 12, so I don't think that hits him. That misses, yes. Yep. However. Never can roll well for spiritual weapon. Sure. That would be my turn. All right, <laughs> Ursus, you've tied with the shag off. <laughs> Where we're at. Okay. I mean, the starter beast. The starter beast. Starter beast. Okay. Um, so I'll let you go first in this case. Okay. Uh, yeah. pull it. Let's start off first. This is fucking horrifying. Yes. Please roll a wisdom saving throw. Uh, oh, shit. Point of dread, five. All right. You were at three? Yeah, I'm at four now. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is three. One if you succeed. Oh, okay. Okay. So. You are paralyzed with fear oh shit okay okay and that will unfortunately end your end my turn yeah sorry okay. no that's okay. okay the shagoth uh the starter beast uh starts swinging out it hasn't really paid attention to you guys yet where rat where rat more where rats are shooting down at this thing Others again are terrifying and it just shoom, shoom, shoom. Um ooh, yeah. Just sucks in three were rats into its body. The caster behind him with the starter oozing out of him, noticing the uh noticing the magical weapon starts chanting out and three Four, five, 
glass of Eldritch come out. Um, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. At the moment, he is a caster. Yeah. But he is a shitty caster. Uh, 15 hits or no? To who? Uh, sorry, this is towards Luna. Oh, sorry, to me? 15 yeah. does not hit. Does not or does? Does not. Okay. Does a... Uh, that was a 20 hit. Oh, that hits. Okay, you got two dirty 20s and a natural 20. Seriously? All right. All right. I protected it from going to try to banish it. All right, 16, 18, uh, 23 points of force damage. What now, is this? And as he's casting, actually, you hear this um, sound as his neck snaps back and out of his mouth oozes this tendril of starter. And that appears to be where these Eldritch Blasts are coming from. All right, so. Mm -hmm. From what, the one holding the book? From the one holding the book. His head, which was normal there, just snaps back all of a sudden. You have medicine check, that, that's a broken neck. Yeah. Ooze starts coming out of its mouth, raising in lifelike sentience. Oh, God. Uh, that Luna. <laughs> hey, Luna. Hey, what? Not Luna. I apologize. Uh, Riley, huh? Dimlo. Dimlo. Okay. Dimlo. I was reading the wrong one. Wait, wait. How many times did I get hit? You got hit three times. All right. I have to make three concentrations. Didn't, didn't Riley and I tie? You go first. You got a 12. Riley got a two, right? No, no, she got a 12. Oh, you got a 12. Okay. You both tied. Who wants to go I first? I say, ladies first. Yeah, Riley? see you first. Okay. Uh, Riley, normally you would have an aura that protects you from being frightened. Normally. You feel it go away this round. Make I'll a physical close to him. Huh? How far away am I from him? You're about 20 feet. And you are looking down at it. Wisdom saving throw first, please. Okay. <sighs> 21. 21. You are good for the moment. Okay. Now I can... Uh, and her aura of frightened is being suppressed right now, so everyone knows. And it's actually what's keeping her from getting a dread point this round. All right, I attack with my longbow. Sure. All right. Are you aiming for the monster in front of you or the creepy thing whose head just snapped back? <laughs> Let's see what happens with the monster, right? Sure. Go ahead. He attacks us. Right. Does a 12 hit? 12 misses. Okay. And then you have another attack, yes? Yeah. And then that one is a 25 hit. That'll hit. Okay. Nice. I am attacking with my great sword of wounding. Oh, you're running up. Okay. Sorry, my longbow. JK, JK, it's my longbow. I'm losing my mind. Losing my oh. mind. Um, all right, 1d8. Derp. I'm like, I'm tired. I cleaned up till 4 a.m. No, it's fine. And I'm just kind of sure. now because I thought I'd have it at 10 o'clock, but I'm not. Shit. <laughs> No. Not gonna happen. 16th level problems, man. All right, eat the image. Eight Careful damage. investigating magical everything. magical longbow or no? Wait. Is this a magical nah, longbow? Just a regular boring longbow. Okay. It does some damage, but not as much as you would think. In fact, as it flies through, this air bubble <coughs> flex the arrow off a little bit and does less damage. So like a gelatinous thing? It is pretty, very pr pretty much, yeah. No. 
So what? And it's got yeah. it's got yeast in it, so there's bubbles bubbling up through it. Uh. Ew. So, uh, <laughs> Kyle, with me being frightening, am I like catatonic or anything like that? Uh, you are paralyzed at the moment. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure what the okay. paralysis. Huh? I'm, I wasn't sure quite what the paralysis condition did. So at the moment, I just can't move, huh? Exactly. Okay. Um, so with that, Dimlo, you are up. Please make your wisdom Wisdoms. saving throw. Ah, uh, make it. 17. 17. Uh, you do not make it, and you take three additional uh, levels of dread. Um, so like frightened, but on top of that, you become staggered. And you are not going to be able to take a bonus action or a reaction as your dro axe drops from your hand. But I okay. can take an action? You can take an action. Great. I don't need the axe anyway. I, uh... You're a wizard! <laughs> <Yeah. Right. laughs> I, I look at Raleigh and I was like, that was a good shot. And I cast Chain Lightning on the giant starter beast, the uh, warlock guy, and two of the ones that are dancing. All right. Uh, what do you need for that? Dexterity. Dexterity. We will start with the warlock looking fellow. He has, oh, advantage on that. 17. The starter beast with advantage. That is 24. Uh, the guys who are madly dancing around, um, they fail. take the full burn, yep. So they both take 50 lightning damage. Oh, so and awesome. And the other two take 25. The other two take 25. All right, you have made yourself known. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can, only, I can only do that once. <laughs> All right. I thought I was worried before. I'm less worried now. <laughs> <laughs> that you're huh? not going to finish by 10? Huh? It's nothing. I said that we're not going to finish by 10. Yeah, well, that too. Okay. <laughs> um, going back up, Carol, you are up. All right. So we're going to try it. I'm going to cast Banishment at fifth level, and I'm targeting both the huge monster and the um, one reading the book. The, oh, that is a Christmas save of 18. Please don't murder it. Please don't murder it. Please murder it. The starter really? monster makes it. What? It does. Oh, hold on. No, I am sorry. Both of them do make it. That's us. Uh, I rolled a 17 plus 3 for the warlock, and the starter gets a plus 6, and he rolled a 19. So. God damn it. Has anybody hurt or anything like that? The spiritual weapon goes away. Uh, well, those are all spells, right? Unless it's a cantrip. I don't think I can do anything else for a bonus. Uh, yeah, the only thing I do bonus is spare the dying. So that's not, we don't have anybody into that condition. So that would be my turn. All right. Ursus. Oh, I'm yeah. Have you make two wisdom saving throws? Okay. One of them is to see if you go crazy. The other <laughs> one is if you crazy. come back from paralyzed. Okay. So let's um, go ahead and do crazy, crazy first. 12. Roll a d20 for me. Okay. Uh, oh, is, he, that, is he gonna have madness? Madness 14. 14? <sighs> If you make it out of here alive, well, I'll tell you later. Okay. Go ahead and make a save for the paralyzed. And what okay. it's going to do is just drop you down a level if you make it. Okay. Uh, uh, 14. 14? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you are going to drop down a level. Um, uh, 
and you come out of the paralyzed, you may act this round. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, taking my action, I take uh, my hand axes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to make two hand axe throws uh, at the warlock. Sure. Mind you, okay. you are still acting under the frightened condition. Right, You're so I'm at disadvantage, there. right? Okay. Yep. All right. All right, uh, let's see. Okay. Ooh, not, not too bad, terribly bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, 16. 16 will hit. Okay. And the same for the second one? Same for the one. Okay. Uh, 18. 18. Both will hit. Okay. Uh, Any chances these are magical axes? No, they're not. Okay. No. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> New character. Um, okay, 11 points for one and uh, seven points for the other. 11 and 7, 18, 9. Okay. With that, uh, they are up, and you just see where those hand axes went in. Mm -hmm. Pop as more ooze comes out. Pop, the other one falls out. Okay. And he's looking healthier than when you struck him the first time around. Uh, did I happen to notice, were there any containers in the room whatsoever? Um, yeah, for the sake of it, there's a shattered container uh, okay. at the foot of the stairs where you guys are actually at. Okay, but nothing, nothing like a barrel full of salt or anything like that in the room. Nothing like a barrel full of salt. God damn. Um, there is, for everyone else here, there is, do you see these blue lines here? Yeah. That is overflow from the sewage that yeah. kind of traipses down the middle here. There is actually a ring of this water around the creature as it goes out, gosh, this is hard. Goes out this way and mm -hmm. this way, out through uh, uh, another kind of sewage drain almost. But it appears to be a hideout. There are tents everywhere. And so this is apparently a way to manage the flow of water in here. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Shogoth itself uh, rears up, looks bigger, uh, and is really starting to look healthier again. Um, and with that, mm, oh, the, yeah. trying to decide what to do here. <laughs> uh, Welcome to the club. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. But I got so many different things I can friggin' do, including try that again. Riley, since you ran up to it. Does a 25 hit. Riley? Oh my god. Yep. I'm so hungry. I'm looking up food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, did, she, did, she didn't run up to it. She shot her bow. She's still oh, yeah. To me. yeah, that's it. She's, but those tentacles do her a lot you of reach. attacked it directly, and it has 30 foot reach. So, yes, it oh, still reaches out to scratch you. All right, yeah. Uh, 25 does hit. Here come the tentacles. Uh, it does bludgeoning damage, 21. Oh my god. 7 acid damage. <laughs> Shitty tentacles. And make a DC strength or dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll do strength. <laughs> I rolled in that one. For a total of? Uh, it ends up being five. Slams you into the chest. The starter oozes around you. This smell of yeast, mm. doughy flour. So hungry. And you get sucked in. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, can I do my hellish rebuke on it? Because fuck it, I'm inside it now. Go for it. Alright. What is that considered? Spells, right? Uh -huh. 
I believe I need to make a dexterity saving throw from you. Mm -hmm. Does a 17 pass. Shit, yeah. Okay. I still take half, if I remember correctly. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, half as much damage. All right. I should make this easier on you guys, but you talk shit. <laughs> I don't recall us talking shit. Yeah. Well, uh, you didn't. Uh, uh, Caitlin did about my thing being over two hours. No. Yeah. I, so I, to keep it short, I'm just gonna kill you quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's been so. It would have been fourteen half damage, seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. Um. Uh, as this fire comes out, as you start screaming and it yanks you in, there's a. Um, I smell <laughs> cookies. <laughs> All right. Um, cookies. Gosh, that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> Creme brulee smell is in the air. Oh, um, the creature actually appears to recoil from it a little bit. From fire. From fire. Fire? At the same time, it seems to not take as much damage as someone would expect. From fire? Uh, from fire. If you want to make an intelligence check with cooking supplies or a brewery. I. Sure. I uh, nope. Roll to two. I'm thinking we should have taken the salt. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay. Uh and I with cast that, salt. Um, there is this tall, elvish looking fellow in this corner of the room, uh, with a rat face, but imagine he looks more like Inigo Mendoya. Oh okay. And, ah, you kill me ah, and runs forward, and he jabs at it and he starts dancing away, and these tentacles start going after him. Uh one missing. Um you turn up and look on the corner there, and one of the were rats who was shooting at this thing a second ago pulls out a knife and jabs his friend underneath the armpit, uh, and they begin fighting. Madness is becoming rampant in the room. Oh, geez. Uh, and the were rats who are still attempting to fight this thing out of it are not looking as hot as they did, although the leader seems to have invigorated some of those who are on the floor shaking and dancing to themselves. Mm -hmm. With that, we come up to Dimlo and uh, Riley, Riley, you went first. You are currently engulfed inside this creature. Uh, and if you would like to get out, I will have you make an athletics check. I can't just like swing my sword around inside him. Let me and at disadvantage. Sorry. That is correct, yeah. <laughs> what happens if I keep staying in him? Am I going to take more damage? Mm -hmm. uh, probably. Oh, all right. So sorry, what? Athletics check? Athletics, yes. I need a DC 18. Uh, athletics. Should have went for more. Oh my god! How'd you do? I got a three because I rolled a nat one again and I rolled a different die this time. <laughs> great job, guys. You're doing great. All right. Uh, I'm self sacrificing point. myself. <laughs> it could be worse. Um, all right, Dimlo, you are up. Uh -huh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, I Roll I'm like, them. I'm like, hey, give that back. And I cast um, Sunburst, which is also which is a Constitution saving throw, sixty foot, sixty foot sphere hitting 
the monster, the warlock, and anything else that happens to fall in that 60-foot sphere. Sunbeam? Sunburst. Sunburst, okay. It is a an 8th level wizard spell. Wow. Shagoth is down. Warlock. 16. Fail. Uh, your Inigo Montoya rat leader sprung safely sprung safely away um, but there are a few other were rats in the circle oh I, before i cast still so. okay so if 16 um fails or passes 16 fails okay. and i'm gonna use my evocation stuff and i gotta remember how it works because you know little 16 characters have like chapters of things that they can do no crap, man. Uh, oh, that's just sculpt spell. Okay. <laughs> uh, potent cantrip, empowered evocation. I can add plus four to any damage, to one damage roll of any wizard spell. So I will do it to this one. All right. Let's see. Eight. Sixteen. 22, 32, 7, uh, 37, 47, math's hard, 53, 59, 63 radiant damage. Nice. 63 radiant. Um, I think it's radiant. Let me make sure. Yeah, make sure. This is pretty, pretty sure it is. Uh, -huh. uh, it is a little, little, little radiant damage. Radiant damage, and they're blinded for one minute. <laughs> yeah. Nice picture. Cool. Uh, uh, so one, one. As I say the hit points out loud, um, <laughs> you see this radiant damage. Um, it's an explosion. <laughs> Explosion. Like a fireball of radiant damage, essentially. The warlock, the skin of the were rat peels off around it, and you see what was humanoid, but now looks to be a miniature version of this starter beast. The book itself drops onto the floor, and it's still alive, but it's looking crispy. Um... And I'm like, I said, give it back. <laughs> All right. Um, Dimlo, we are back up. Carol. Well, since that didn't work, I think I'll do something where at least it can get half damage. I, I'm offended by that statement. Huh? <laughs> um, I want to cast... Um, I want to cast Harm on the Shugath because it's got a hold of our party member. So that is, harm is a uh, 18 constitution save. Okay. And I'll start rolling dice here. What's, what is the time? And it passes. It passes. All right. Well, it's still 14 D6 in damage. One, two. Let's see, six. We'll use the murder hobo dice. Woo! I'm dropping the murder hobo dice. Get back here. One, two, three, four, that, that's six. All right, so I'll start with six, seven. <laughs> that's seven. actually what that one in the background who was a warlock, he kind of looks like that right now. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> He's cooked. He looks like sourdough. <laughs> that, that's it's, it's 12. Um, God, I can't even add right now. 17, 20, 21. Come on, roll better. 28, 30, 35. So that's 40. So that'd be all right. So it's 40 points of damage normal. So it's 20 points of damage. Uh, what kind of damage? Uh, I don't know. What probably is it? necrotic, probably. Probably necrotic. Yeah, harm is necrotic. Okay, 20 damage. Yeah. Yeah, no, this creature flailing about. Uh, supposedly blinded is reeking as these black 
hands from the grave reach out claw <laughs> at it and from the black skeleton fingertips blackness oozes out through the starter uh, hang on a sec what have i got for bonus actions here uh, nothing good nobody weapon right i'm not going to recast that <laughs> i have no luck with that um nope that's it i'm going to do that i could do spirit you know what no, I can't cast two spells. So spiritual weapons a spell. It's not a cantrip. So that would be my turn. Okay. Fucking moving <laughs> at all. <coughs> hmm. Spells are fun. Okay. Um, to start off with the fiery cooked explosion <laughs> from. Uh, Riley, the previous round, the Shogoth, while shriveled up, is kind of baked a little crusty. It doesn't seem to pull up or revitalize itself at all. The um, Warlock, now the mini proto starter monster, starts to swell up again. Um, let's see. Mm, fire bad. Staring <laughs> at the light bringer looks at you damn yeah, right i got a new title this fight <laughs> <laughs> okay quick question out of the game meta do you guys want the full fight or do you want this fight whatever your choice your, what I, I don't doesn't matter to me i'll take whatever you throw at me i mean at this point you guys kind of got it figured out it'll go pretty fast do you yeah. want to end sooner or Extend the fight to the full thing. I still have spell slots. <laughs> I think it's up to our producer. <laughs> Probably up to the producer on this one. Frank, yes or no? <laughs> Frank, you're both you 12. I'm, I'm, nice. I'm Frank, you should tell Kyle that he has to run the content he planned and it's not your fault that he didn't plan short enough content. <laughs> It's a lot shorter than it has been. All right. No. True. Let's see. Luna, Ursus, and Dimlo, since you guys have all stayed back and near the entrance, please roll a d12. Oh, oh. God. I'm just swimming around inside this dude. That That's an eight for Dimlo. Uh, seven. And three for Luna? Yep. All right. Luna, please make a dexterity or strength, acrobatics, uh, athletics, whichever one you want. What is it? Strength, acrobatics, athletics. They're all yeah. like shite. As if you're being grappled currently. As if I'm being grappled? So either make a dexterity, acrobatics, or strength, athletics, whichever <laughs> you prefer. All right, well, either or it doesn't matter. Um, you know what? Since I have it, I'm going to use I didn't use it earlier. I'm going to use Lucky because that was a crap roll. Oh, fuck's sakes. This is what I, I roll it to roll worse. I do not make it. Oh, no. What did you roll? This is a I only, oh, 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 okay. That would only be a five. Yeah, that'd be a five. It does not matter because strength, strength and dex is exactly the same. Sure. Plus um, one. You feel something coming up behind you. You turn around. Shit. The were rat from the sewers behind you. Hey, Frank, they didn't charge their six, did they? Uh, yeah. <laughs> reaches out, crashes onto you, and chucks you at to the starter monster. <laughs> at <coughs> which point you find yourself engulfed. Uh. Um, or, well, we'll actually determine that next round, if that's all right with you. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, take 21 acid damage, Riley. Oh, Riley, not me. Beast. And, um, she'll go for the pro. Is it not taking enough damage to have to roll to not spit her out? Uh, that's a good point. Dang it. Don't make me look at these things. I wasn't prepared. Rip. Been there. 
So anyway, has it taken enough damage to have to roll to spit her out yet? Uh, it is not one of those creatures. Okay. Okay. Doesn't really uh, have a mouth, so I guess. Yeah, right. It Mouths are forming here and there. Eyeballs come out. Um, the Shoggoth um, lashes out towards Inigo Montoya and proceeds to suck him in as it sucks him in, a skeleton actually pops out on the other side. Um, the proto starter, the warlock from earlier, grabs the book, slurps it up unto himself, and begins going out this main entrance right here. Um, and with that, Riley, you are up. Would you like to escape? Attack from the inside. <laughs> I'm just going to attack from the inside. Okay. Make a... Hello. All right. Um... Okay. All right. You got some smites. You might want to use them. Oh, I do. Yeah, branding smite. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. And then I attack with my greatsword. You said what? Disadvantage? Disadvantage. So it would be 16 and 20. Uh, the 20 will hit. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nineteen damage. Nineteen. Um, I will ask you to split it up for me. What's the slashing damage? Uh, well, wouldn't that be all of it? Cause might or no? Smite. Um, your extra damage is radiant. Oh, okay. Then it's. So... Am I doing that right? Yeah, 13 for, what, you said slashing? I need slashing and radiant, separated. And then six for a radiant. Okay, um, this is a magic sword. It is cut yeah. through everything. It's not cutting through this quite as well as it should. And the <laughs> radiant damage was six, you said? Yeah. Light from <laughs> Take neurotic damage or nah? It'll, I'll take necrotic damage. Yeah. Necrotic, there you go. She said yeah. neurotic. Neurotic. Then <laughs> <laughs> that psych damage. Neurotic from fighting this thing. I have neurotic damage. Necrotic does seem to hurt it, by the way. Yeah. Because that's what mine was. Nope. Fire hurt it less, Fire. but it didn't regenerate as much. All right. I'm sorry. Fire hurt it last, but it didn't regenerate as much. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, whew. Right. Stay in character. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it happens at the start of your turn. Oh, at the start of my turn? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Though the wounding aspect of it. Gotcha. Yeah. You have oh. to do a constitution check. All right. uh, well, we'll make that at the beginning of its turn. Um, Dimlo, go ahead. How far away is the proto bag? Um, it's yes. going into this darkened outline 60 feet away. 60 feet? 60 feet. 
Excellent. I need. What's the range uh, of a fireball? It's it's like forty feet, right? Well, yeah, but I'm probably not gonna. Well, I guess I could cast fireball. They're the same. He's resistant to fireball, though. Uh, no, I'm going to use over channel, and I'm gonna cast lightning bolt. I need a dexterity saving throw. Ooh. Eighteen total. So he succeeds. So he takes thirty lightning damage. Thirty lightning. Oh, fun. Okay, this thing is stupid. The main <laughs> one doesn't have the same resistances and immunities as the other one. It fries. Blacken starter. Uh, and it actually hits the book, and the book goes flying further down the corridor. Um. You have killed it. Is that the little Excellent. one or the big one? The little one. The little one, yeah. <laughs> this is the big one. And uh, so I have bonus action, right? So well, actually, yeah. Does that go through the uh, the if it's tall enough to because I'm shooting a straight line, it's a five foot You're shooting down at an angle anyway. So yeah. I'd say so it hits the so it's the same thing. It's it's sixty on a fail and thirty on a success. Okay, let me double check here. Yeah. Oh, this thing is looking cooked. Literally. And with that, Carol. All right. So how are we resolving this? Killing Make it. A dexterity saving throw of eighteen. Oh God. I don't suppose I can cast freedom movement as I go through the air. <laughs> <laughs> this is at the beginning of your turn, so you will afterwards. Oh man, it's almost going to be impossible for me to not make it uh, to make it because it's I only have plus one dex. Uh, that because that's only a uh, that's only a sixteen. So I can try luck if you want. As well, same rule. Same roll. Yeah, I, I only have a plus one, so I literally have to roll what a seventeen. Yep. Um, so use the luck point. The bludgeoning damage, but you do take seven acid damage as the force of it. You weren't able to catch any of the ground to slow yourself, and you go plop face first, and you are restrained, engulfed, blinded. You can't breathe, but you have total cover from everything, so. So That's I why can Riley is still alive from the lightning bolt. Fucking surface. I can't possibly surface to freaking get off any spells that require speech, right? You're going to have a mouthful of starter. Mm. Just swallow it. It's just bread. I know. I Isn't it like I carbon dioxide for yeast? Isn't that what the bubbling is? Yeah. I won't <laughs> kill you inhaling straight carbon dioxide. I oh. mean, well, I do have one other thing. I do have a plus two mace that I can just friggin' grow out and hit the thing with. Sure. You said a plus one and a plus two spell, so I'm gonna do that if I can't do anything else. That's annoying. Uh, well, that's probably gonna hit with a 25. All right, yeah, that'll hit. Okay, so. Is it gonna suck for damage though? Uh, seven points. Seven and points. it is magical. It is magical. Great. Yep. Um, this amazing mace that has broken through the skulls of the <coughs> Croft Giants inner guard with ease barely makes it through this sludge, even with its magic. Aww. Uh huh. Ooh. And this is one of those monsters where I think you have to know a lot about it to really do a good job on it. So I apologize. We will no, bring sorry. this guy up a little bit. It's okay. Getting late. I'm apologize. sorry. Apologize. <laughs> All right. Ursus, you are up. Okay. Make a wisdom saving throw to continue to act. Okay. Uh, let's see. 14. 14 is the exact number. Okay. Uh, 
I am going to attack that where rat, rat that threw Luna into the, the pit. And he like right next to me because Luna was right by me. Throw it with me. Throw it in here with me. Or that, yeah. yeah that's up to you. <laughs> if you want to try, you can do it. I need to grapple him, but I mean. <laughs> I'm uh, just buddy. Do I mean, I'm a melee. I'm going to attack the fucking rat. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, uh, one action, three attacks. One action, three attacks. Okay. I'm excited. I, I wanted to see how this would go. <laughs> okay. The first one, uh, he, uh, 28. Damage? Uh, damage. Hit. Damage. <laughs> right. It's 15 to hit this wear rat. Oh, okay. Uh, that's no problem. Okay. Uh, damage is, let's see, three plus, uh, uh, with that strike, it was uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. Magical or non-magical? Non-magic. Uh, plus, it's a plus two battle axe, so I don't think plus that's magical. Fine. It is magical? Okay. Yeah, plus two, anything is magical in this situation. Okay. Yeah, it cleaves right through the wear rat's skin, but when it gets to that goop, it doesn't seem to do as much damage. What was the damage again? Uh, that was 10. No, 10. it was 10 damage. It was 10 damage. It didn't uh, turn into 10 damage. All right, continue, if you wish. OK, if I notice this and all, all that, I am going to attempt to grab the rat and grapple him and throw him in. <laughs> go for it. Give me fuck it, fuck it. Not as well. Hey, we're all going to go. <laughs> so uh, athletics. Yep. Check. Okay. Okay. Uh, athletics is uh, 16. 16? Mm -hmm. You've got him. Okay. Uh, Give me another roll to throw him in. Oh, <laughs> do it! Do it! Okay. Uh, you that have would advantage be... since you've got him real good, though. 20. 20? Yep. 18. I thought I had that one. <laughs> you bury your axe and see it does nothing. You pull it out, hook him around the neck, and just throw him right into the thing. Uh, and Unfortunately, I just fed the fucking starter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, we are at... Pardon my language, folks. <laughs> The rare rat goes into it. You see the flesh dissolve around it, and underneath it again was this starter ooze that has been absorbed into the starter beast. Now let me guess, um, it heals. <laughs> yeah, let's give it an extra. Oof. I figured. Yeah, well, I'm going to say it healed two rounds normally. So, okay. Um, and with that, uh, David, oh. you haven't been attacked yet. I, I feel I feel awful about not having done that yet. Wear better. I need to be uh, ready. A 30 hits you, Ursus. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's resolve this first. You take 21 slashing damage. Okay, from... Seven acid damage. Okay, from the pseudopod? From the pseudopod, yep. Where okay. So what's the total on the damage, Kyle? Uh, 28 total. Okay. And with that, give me a DC 18 strength or dexterity saving throw. Okay. Okay, uh, strength, uh, 19. 19? Yeah. Uh, pseudopod comes out, teeth start growing at it, takes a bite at you, you manage to catch it, and as it begins pulling in, you rip it out. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a natural one. And that's a D12. It turns out they look alike, they're not the same thing. Uh, does a 18 hit you? No, it does not. Okay. Two more pseudopods coming at you. Okay. You managed to get out of the way. Uh, the proto is dead, as well as the other one. Uh, Riley, you are up inside the monster. Take 
21 acid damage, please. Man, I'm just going to die in here. You might die in there. Wait, did he attack yet? Oh, did he take? Uh, yeah, you should have taken the necrotic damage at the top of the monster's oh, turn. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it, Frank. <laughs> Is he right now? Oh. Am I dead yet? Am I dead yet? Not quite. We're getting to you. Uh, I needed to make a constitution saving throw? Yeah. Or are you just giving me... Oh. Um, a nine. Nope. So you take the damage. Okay. Which is... Three damage. Three damage. All right. You guys see one of these bubbles pursed off of it, and a little bit of extra starter comes out and is sizzling on the ground, blackened. Three, seven. There we go. All right, and you took your acid damage. Are you attacking? Are you trying to escape? What would you like to do? Riley. I guess I'll try to escape this time before I die inside of it. DC 18 Strength Athletics. Uh, what am I going to have? I know. Well, not a one, but I rolled two, so... I'm sorry, you reach your hand out there and it just kind of pulls back in. Dumlo does know where you are though, so he's probably not gonna hit you with the spell. Uh, Dimlo, uh, would you like to go? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, your hand went back in though. You can reach in and grab someone. Just I, I'm still up on the like right. rail. I uh, need a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. All right. Ooh. Um, that is 14. Excellent. That's a fail for my seventh level fireball. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Welcome to math. <laughs> math time. 40, All are relevant now. 44 fire damage, and I'm going to place it if there's other things around it still that I can hit. You know, I'll hit it and whatever other things are still hanging out. Sure. Um, you toast some more gibbering, and actually a few were rats braved and got really close, turned into full were rat, just started chewing at the starter, and you have roasted them. They're gone. 44 fire damage. The fire I know damage, it doesn't ta it doesn't look like it takes that much, right? It doesn't take that much. Yeah. It's like there was a reason that this gold-headed dragon known as the Maw of Fire... No, I got it. I do understand, but last time it was burned, it didn't regenerate as much either. You're correct, and it won't either. It was a calculated risk. It is. Carol, you are stuck inside the monster. Please take 21 acid damage. Yeah. I we'll have a lot of spells that are helpful other than for combat. Oh, I could do this one, I guess. And Luna, what would you like to do? Not much I can do. Really, not much I can do. Just enjoy this acid ride. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> uh, yeah, man. 18, huh? Hmm? Like, I see the galaxy in here. The problem is I can't talk. If I could freaking actually cast any spells, or that'd be great. But new, nope. you can roll a d12. We'll see if you have something. I'm you can to... cast a hail mary if you win. Well, it's seven, five. All right, hail mary time. You have a oh, hail mary. Oh, if your spell is breathing, you have What's one that? opportunity. Do not miss your chance. Oh. Posted does this thing look? Make you want, make you want, make you want a good cast one. escape from fucking monster. Well, actually, I can do that. I can, I'll cast. It said it's whether or not I could kill it in one round with like another harm spell at higher level, or if I should just go with another freedom from movement because that'll get me out of it. 
Now, you, you know, honestly don't know. You are just burning. If you try to open your eyes, you actually feel this pressure of something trying to push its way in through your eyelids. <coughs> it, it's horrifying is what I'm trying to get at. So, basic, so basically, I, I've got one. So I will do that, actually. I'm going to cast... Oh, what level spell is that, damn it? I know I've still... of movement or higher? Free, or what? Which one? Uh, I'd say freedom of movement to get the fuck out of it. Freedom of movement is fourth level. Right, I got it. Mm -hmm. So I will do that and get the fuck out. It's a good idea. Go I don't or try. Spell, the monster uh, sees its opening and then you feel all the weight and the pressure lifts away. This, you're incorporeal again as a ghost. If you choose yeah. to walk out, I walk out. I go to the. I go get to the. You know, landing way, and I'm full of 25 feet of movement out the nearest exit. Out the nearest exit. Yeah. From um, where I presume is yeah on the side I was on anyways. Sure. Uh, you find yourself going out this door over here. Okay. Well, not the door. I can't run that far anyways. It's 30 feet to the door. It's a very is small it? room, which is why it's been able to attack you. This oh, no. That's why I saw it was 60 feet, so it was yeah. 30. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right, because I'm forgetting the middle. No, I don't leave the room. I try to get out of the monster. You get out of the monster. You go yeah. up the stairwell. You actually notice it trying to follow you, and it stops when it gets to this uh, water line there. Um, but it can't touch you at any point. Cool. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I say look this for water. Dreadful looking gnome figure. Um, walk out and then boop. There is Luna again walking out. Safe and sound. With that, Ursus, you are up. You fed the monster. What would you like to do now? I am going to look for a lever, Kyle, to see if I could flood this chamber. Is there anything like that around? It's a you great idea. Say, on your way in, uh, you did have to step over a wall that was um, blocking a lot of water that had been coming in. It okay. is about um, 120 feet if you were to run the entire way. Oh shit, that's gonna take a couple of rounds. <laughs> uh, but there was a lever there uh, that would. There's a wall, you would have to break down the wall. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, break down that wall. I, I mean, I'm strong, but uh, I mean, going through what? How many inches of brick? <laughs> Just one layer of brick. They seem to take good care of it. Uh, one side is really shitty, though. One side is really literally one, one side is really shitty. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> fuck it. I'm I'm gonna. Oh, that that fucking thing is gonna get an opportunity of attack though. Oh come on! It's just a uh, thirteen. You're good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for that for that um for that wall. Twenty seven. 27 points of damage, okay. You take, oh no, that's 27 to hit. Oh shit, Want to make well sure that I does hit. hit. Yeah, I'm 22, so. <laughs> okay. it is. Uh, you take 21 piercing damage. Tieflings are sexier. Seven acid. <laughs> okay. And so. do me a favor, as you start running, make that strength or dexterity saving throw. Okay. As it pierces through uh, this sharp barb, grows teeth and starts pulling back. 26. And Ath you athletics. Are like the animal you are, man. <laughs> so I am hauling ass down that 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 hallway to uh, to the to the wall. Sure. Um 60 feet I believe is what you got. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right. All right. Uh, and with that the shogo fire monster. Did we do fire damage earlier? Fireball, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did fireball. Thank you. I appreciate that. 44. 44. Okay. Um, at this point, the were rats are dying off or going mad. 
the Shagoth is going to start making attacks. <sighs> um, two on Dimlo. So we have a 27 and an 18 to hit. 27 hits. Okay. Uh, 21 bludgeoning damage, seven acid, and it begins to try and pull you into it. Ah, oh, shit. Join the acid party. Uh, so I need a DC 18 strength or dexterity saving throw. Your choice. All right. Let me look at my saving throws. Uh, 23 strength saving throw. All right. You pass. Um, the 18 did not hit, correct? 18 did not hit. All right. And Luna, you are out and about. Does a 22 hit? Yeah. 21 piercing damage. Seven acid. And as this thing pierces. So, so 28 total? 28 total. I'm not rolling dice for this. This is a lot of dice. This is high level adventure. I appreciate you guys do. No, that's fine. I'm I just not going to. Roll, roll dice. All right, so what happens? Pierces through you, throws out these claws, and it goes to reach in and drag you out. But as it does, it passes through your bony ribs and your ghastly form, mm. sucks back in. Because I believe freedom of movement is not a concentration. No, it isn't. How? Oh, how long does it last? An hour? Yeah. Does it really? I think. <laughs> I'm really going <laughs> off of memory. Hold on, I'm going to go look. I want to point that it's fourth level. Wait, I could have put that on myself the whole time. Freedom of movement? Yeah. yeah. One hour. No concentration. Yeah. If you have the spell. I do. Shit. Actually, I probably had it the whole time and anyways. It was an hour. Because I cast it already. But that was a while ago, so it may have been. Oh, I don't think it was over an hour. But regardless, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. fine, anyways. Yep. Let's uh, do that. What is the show off? It's not doing anything special. Tiefling's addicted to acid. Okay. Uh, so, yes, Tiefling in the acid, what would you like to do? <laughs> I guess, can I do freedom of movement on myself? Roll a d12 to see if you have a lasting breath. Uh, Frank, you're a terrible, awful person. Oh, shit. What did he say? <laughs> I have no idea. Hardly I matters. I have to say that sometimes. Kyle, six. Six. Yeah. You have one last breath to cast it. You do so. Good. I don't have to save you this turn. And immediately, fiery, holy light emanates from you. The beast actually pulls back from you, and you are able to walk out. And then everyone goes, what the fuck? You could have did that the whole time. And I'm like, yeah, I got a little bit of a drug problem. So like, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm feeling real lit right now, real good. All right. You have made your way out. If you have a bonus, I don't think you have a bonus action. <laughs> Take 12 steps. And 48 back. Let's go. All right. <laughs> All right, Dimlo, you are up. Oh, so I was going to cast Oda Luke's Resilient Sphere on her, but I don't have to do that now. So let's no. change the plan. Um, let's see. You ran. I will cast. I don't know. I will cast Vitriolic Sphere. Cast it. Okay. And I'm going to use a dice roller because I'm not rolling 12 d4s. <laughs> oh, D and D Beyond folks will have that feature soon. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. 30. I use five. Ask the damn. I'm sorry. That is a uh, dex save. Dex save. Ooh, seventeen. 
Uh, 17 is my DC, so you save. Okay. Uh, on a successful attack, it takes half initial and no secondary, so you take half of 35. So 17. 17 half, 17, As you shoot the acid into the creature, that has been doing acid damage. <laughs> I'm not inside the creature. I have no idea that it's been doing acid damage. I will say, you did get hit by it. It did do acid damage. Oh, that's true. That's My true. main complaint, honestly, wasn't with you. It was with the fact that this thing does acid damage. It's an ooze. But it's, it's not immune. resistant to acid. As opposed right, to... You wasted a fifth level spell of it's mine. It's not that's proof. Not resistant. It, yeah, it's... I, like I said, you were hit by acid. If you want to take the knowledge to say something else. I don't mind. I'll move on to Carol while you redo whatever you were going to do. That's oh. up to you. We're That's getting fine. on, guys. All right, necrotic, necrotic seemed to work on this thing, right? Correct. Yeah. Go for it. All right, actually, let me ask this. How bad does everybody look? Do I need to heal? I or look I like half of my health exists oh okay okay kyle well let's see da, 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 da. i think everyone's i'm probably i'm probably thinking i'm the worst one off here uh i'm gonna cast what have i got i think i'm gonna cast blight at seventh level because that is necrotic damage so make a constitution 18 mr kyle done <laughs> Eight. Wow. Come on. Fail it. Fail it for once. What can 24. We God damn it. All You're right. attacking its best one. <laughs> uh, that's what I got. Um, I keep you really have a lot of weaknesses. One. Well, that's not a D8. Wait a minute. Eleven. 15, 16. Damn it. In the thing. Okay, so uh, 16, 18. Oh, God, I can't add 18. And 7 is 25. 30, 37. And then what is it? So I get three more. Say so 37. Oh, 30, oh, that's not bad. 37, 39, 41, uh, 40, 47 points. So half of that is necrotic. So what is that? 20, 23. 23. Take 23 necrotic. Neurotic. All right. Uh, Dimlo, real crack. We were going back to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do a fireball. All right. Uh, it works well though you shut off it's if you're shutting off it's regeneration 34 half to 30 17 oh uh, yeah we pass your dexterity so 17 8 okay oh yeah half quartered yeah yeah, yeah. has yeah. any bad saves <laughs> Hey, man, you really beat the shit out of it. Ursus, you are running down the hallway. I'm going to use my down. movement. You see it right there in front of you. All right, I'm going to... You wish you took the charger feet. Or yeah, do you I'll do... have it? <laughs> oh, I don't All fucking right. have... So I do, I'm, I'm just short of it, right? You are right there at it. You can um, okay. swing away, as it were. All right. It's a I'm gonna, threat next yeah. time. And take my action in three minutes. <coughs> oh, you do have action surge. Yeah, so that that'll be after that. Uh, okay. What what is the DC? I mean, the to hit the wall. I'm not sure ten. how this ten. Okay. Don't roll a one. <laughs> I think is what it is these days. Right, right. So all three hit. So yep. uh, uh, I guess it would be max. Uh, let's see, D eights. Okay. Uh, 14 for the first swing. Okay. Um, let's see. The second swing is 10. And okay. the third 
third swing is uh, uh, let's see, it's seven plus eight. Uh, sorry, bad at math. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna action search. Break and, the wall down. Oh, I break the wall down. Break the wall down. You took movement dash to get there. Action yeah. search to then break the wall down. Yes. Okay. So All right. You're good. You got that portion going. And okay. Water and shit goes flowing there, and you smell the salt from the briny water. Okay. Okay. Which I assume is something you want. To, uh, the starter monster. Eighteen. Uh, I'm sorry, I got eighteen, nineteen to Dimlo. Yes. Luna seventeen. Miss. Yeah, no, this thing is on its last legs. It is not doing hot. Uh, with that, Riley, you're up. Okay. Oh, and I'm sorry. Um, your constitution saving throw for your necrotic damage? That's every turn, right? Every time you attack, yeah. It's got to be a 15. Okay. Uh, necrotic damage, please. 14. <laughs> Literally an 8. <laughs> <laughs> Just one damage this time. A uh, one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, we're in double digits now, guys. We did. Woo! Okay. Okay. Expelled. <laughs> All right, now Riley, go ahead. Did you know they sell wigs that have ears already attached to it? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. This is what you say to the beast. <laughs> I do for my Merkin act. This is mockery. <laughs> no, it's just information. It's facts. He's mind blown. Giving him the smack. All right. I guess I'm so close enough that I can attack with my if you like sword. I will be right back. Sorry. Go for it. Twenty-one hits. Twenty-one hits. All right, and then. I need slashing and radiant damage separate. Okay. okay. And then 25 hits. That'll also hit. All right. Maybe I'll do the slashing first. Mm hmm All right. 14. Okay. And then is eight. Eight. Are you smiting or are you just doing the natural smiting ability that you get at level eight? It would be smiting. How long does that last? You can naturally do it on any of your attacks. Wow. But then if you want to also expend a spell slot, you can add another group of d8s. One plus the spell level. So if you had a third level spell slot, you could say, I want to smite on this attack. And then you add an extra 48 radiant on top of that. Oh, shit. And you can see if your attack hits first before you decide to use smite. Correct. So if you like, you could spend two spell slots to add that much more damage dice to your attack. Yeah, why not? OK. Which spell slots would you like to get rid of? I guess my third, right? If you have a third, you roll yeah. 48 extra for one of them. If you want to smite again, you expend another spell slot and add plus one on top of that D8. All right. And it's, well, it's D6s, it says. Branding smite? Oh, no, no. Um, well. Divine smite, it's an ability, not a spell. Divine smite, yes. Divine smite, yeah, but the, the spell slot is branding. Right? No. You use a spell slot to cast um, <gasps> Divine Smite, and yeah, Divine Smite does 1d8 plus 1 per spell slot okay. level. Okay. I'm following you guys. You're good. So it's what hard to pick up a level 16 character and know how it works. 
I've literally never played a character this high level before, so. You know what? Honestly, I don't think I have either. Neither has Frank. <laughs> Right. You oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Brian, I did for you that one time. Tiamat, was that you? Tiamat, yes. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, I guess casting from a what? spell slot, so an extra nine damage. You rolled 48? Yep. Okay. I'm going to be honest, if you want to smite on the next one, you probably could take it out. All right. So what? Spell the... Ah, spend the extra spell. spell. spell you have left. You have a third left? Yeah, I got so many left. If so you burn another four, third you and you'll do another left. four. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Fourteen damage? And with Ed? that, Riley walks out, fire and radiant damage. This thing can't hold on to it. Turns around, uh, except in a more feminine, high-pitched voice. <laughs> now, nah, in a manner, too, with it, as my tail's like behind me. Oh, yeah. And as it's aiming to make all these attacks at you, you manage to kill it. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Uh, with that, I will wrap up for you guys. Um, <laughs> we get the book before. Riley, we... Luna, uh, you see brown, shitty, salty water come spewing out and greater amounts behind you. It doesn't really change much, but man, that starter starts sizzling. Um, I want to get the book before the water takes it out. Okay book is currently fine it's in a raised platform up here you okay. manage guys to get the book you eventually get ursus who actually ursus i, I washed out into it <laughs> Ew. Wave of shit. not quite as nice as you would like it ursus but there's this deep nagging feeling at you even though they tell you no it's dead it's dead it's dead you still aren't happy until you break down some of the other walls and the bottom of this floods and it dissolves and washes away. Uh -huh. uh, and even as you take this book back to Nana Keebler, there's something following you, Ursus. It, there's something there. No one else sees it. Dimlo, with right. all his amazing eyes, like, dude, there's there's nothing there. You're fine. And he puts just, a hand on your Just have a cookie. You'll be fine. I, uh, I, I reach into my my pads on the back and I pull out the Gemma seam. Do I see anything behind me? I'm like frantically looking. Even with the gem of seeing, you don't see anything. <laughs> Which I should have used for the thieves can't in the runes, folks. <laughs> there you go. That might, that might work for you better. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, you get the book back to Nana Keebler. Uh, she takes it from you. You begin to asking her questions. She shushes you. You're in the little private holding cell. She starts reading off some word, and in the distance you hear these screams, and then go deadly quiet. Oh, that'll take care of those. Uh, and now she reads another spell, and in a blink of an eye, you find yourself back at the bakery. Everything is repaired. You do, you remember everything, you're pretty sure, and Ursus that dragon head is looking at you. You swear, you swear to God, it's looking at you. It's not, but it's looking at you. And uh, her wagon is all packed. She rides out, waving at you. And uh, as you follow her, she explains what happened. But with that, guys, it is three hours and one minute. You guys actually killed it, so... <laughs> <laughs> We ended it in three hours, is what I'm going to say, because I did talk a lot at the beginning. Hey, um, exposition that, is fine. <laughs> it was uh, interesting. Thank you guys for staying up an extra hour. Uh, yeah. uh, Caitlin, you always need to get out of here, and you might be hungry. I don't know. So let's start with you. 
final words. You killed the thing. Good job. We didn't even have to roll dice. You actually did it all yourself. I feel like an idiot that this whole time I could have got out of it. <laughs> to be fair, uh, yeah, like, okay. Uh, <laughs> like a moron. Oh my God. All right, David, how are you doing with that? Uh, I love my level of insanity that I have now, but uh, yeah, you are paranoid now, sir. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. It's freaking awesome, uh, Kyle. This this would work great uh, if for a campaign. If you want to keep something with Nana Keebler, yeah. <laughs> why? Where right. were you rolling? Huh? Oh no, I wasn't rolling. Um, I was putting dice away. Uh, no, I was <laughs> campaign. I was really aiming for a one shot. There was only one fight in the whole thing. You gotta head your damn cookies and your damn creme brulee, and you had to look yeah. at ten hours. Yep. So when no, but I, I liked it. Didn't do what I wanted them to do. But <laughs> 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 nice one. Uh, no, seriously, the writing you've done for this is is great. So yeah, mm -hmm. appreciate it, Carol. Uh, what am I? I'll go with one of the most interesting ones you've done so far. Uh, I love the Cthulhu aspect. Uh, I think I keep I kept going. Gee, my husband should be playing this because he loves Cthulhu so much. And I mean, I could definitely see the influence it had on this game. Uh, that was a great monster. And yeah, I knew I knew it was gonna go long, but that's because I am for 16th level trying to deal with nine million things. And you've got so many hit points we have to burn through. And it just, yeah, the battles are just going to take a long time. But they're more epic. And, and thank you for throwing me a bone there with the D12. Because honestly, I had the point, and I really didn't know what to do. I did not have a character built to get out of that situation. Other than... I was really hoping the I high levelness would save you guys. I guess <laughs> things I should have realized is that probably freedom probably was still in effect. Because I did use it. Um, when did I use it? I used it. It was some... not. It was not still in effect because you cast spirit. Oh no, spiritual weapons not concentration. <laughs> no, I, I would no. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's not concentration, so probably it was still in effect. Oh, never mind. I just didn't realize it was an hour long. That's but that's my bad on me. Um, but otherwise, that was that was a great fight. Uh, interesting mechanics, interesting fight, and I'm not sorry. This went an hour over. Yeah. Really? Oh, good. Hey, that's at least one of them then. Hey, I love the creature. So that, <laughs> that was awesome. Not. Fantastic. You, All you right. Brian, I fun. begged you to be out here. Let's get your final words and then we can get offline here. Yeah, Brian. Begged me, huh? I um, begged you, sir. I apologize for DMing over you. Bad habits. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Kyle plays in my campaign. Uh, <laughs> Uh, really it was good. good. I liked it. I liked that you did not railroad us any, anything and you let us explore all the cookies mm -hmm. instead of being like, oh, they're just damn cookies. Move on. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, compared to the very first one shot that I ran, which was with you, for you. I loved the first one shot you ran. I wish we had turned it into a campaign. So <laughs> that, That's everything you write, Kyle. It's just like, You're damn right. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyle. I told you to run something and I would play. They're asking me to run a campaign on here, and I refuse them to. So, well, it's all good. Okay, he'll break one day. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, that was a uh, one shot. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I used a fun little book for that. Long. You can certainly use it for your higher level campaigns. Hey, you're like, is all that right, from the? Is that from the? Broad, where the do Cthulhu. we go now? Cthulhu. There you go. Is that from the uh, Cthulhu book? Huh? Is that from the Cthulhu book? Yes. Uh, except it's not a starter beast, but so. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's a tentacle monster with lots of mouths. Sure. Uh, and so with that, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can watch our videos at YouTube. 